Okay. Let's see. There we go. All right, so in principle, I should be streaming right now. I am not seeing anything on my phone. Nothing at all. Hmm. Yeah, just a black screen. That is uh, not correct. Not at all. Ah, there we go. Think I'm getting something? Yeah. Yep, we're live. We're live. God, when's the last time I've done a live stream? Never on this channel. This is the first. And I don't know how long I should really wait for people to roll in because I don't expect anyone to show up. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot. Um, but we just hit 200 subscribers recently. Uh, I did not say or do anything when we hit 100, and I feel kind of bad about that, so I feel like I should do something for 200, uh, especially since I haven't put anything out recently. So today we're going to be looking at InDev Plus. Um, I don't know a ton about this. This is some kind of modded version of Minecraft InDev that's trying to modernize it a bit, you know, make it nice to play, uh, reduce the bugs, add nice quality of life things while also retaining the old you know old school in-dev feel and when I think about old Minecraft I really think about the in-dev textures to be honest so I think I'm just gonna jump into it here we go exploration so we are just gonna be exploring so I did jump in a world before this just to see what it was like and we do have seasons which is cool um, can maybe start us in the summer. Why not? That could look cool. Um, original or debug or none. So it does spawn us with a house, which is cool. And yeah, we got some nice, interesting things here. Ooh, they even have a moon. I didn't see that before. Yeah. Yeah. What to do? What to do? Well, what was it? It was like island. I think island is what it was. Um, and we'll probably just go with that. We'll just have a nice little island. They do have themes, hell, paradise. Um, and some of these themes, I believe, were in the original InDev. I'm not going to put a seed. Yeah, let's just jump in. Um, some of those, like, versions, like hell. I know hell was in InDev. And that's basically what ended up becoming the Nether, which is interesting. Taking a little while to generate little longer than I might expect given how small the world is still going what the hell by the way I don't have anything fancy set up in terms of audio processing on my microphone so my microphone's probably gonna sound pretty raw in this live stream all right here we are we're here we are in InDev InDev plus that is I'll take these mushrooms I don't know why they're there yeah yeah, very, very in-dev textures. Wow, and this house. This house. This is the most in-dev house anyone could come up with, really. Let's see. Let's look around a little bit. What are we dealing with? What kind of island did we end up with? Figured I might as well make it a little big. Just a little bit. And I know my headphones can be loud, so I really hope that's not coming through. Although there's a good chance it is. So I think these are apple trees. Um, I did jump in a world before this to see what it's kind of like, but I did not walk around a whole lot. Boom, got some melons. And it's interesting that when you punch things, you get these like kind of big chunks. It's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and get some wood. I think we should expand that skimpy little house back there. Oh, and I can, I can move through items, cool. So, I imagine this will probably go for a couple hours. I'm not sure how much there is to do here aside from build. Um, I don't think they've really added anything serious like the nether or, you know, the end. There's no, uh, there's no beating this exactly. But we do have some coal over there. Let's see, can I just take these directly? No, I can't? Okay. Interesting. I wonder... Hmm. Whoa. There we go, apple tree sapling. I imagine these, the ones that aren't red, can give me that too, though. So I just kind of wonder what the point is. Ah, there we go. 
So do I only get apples out of these guys, or do I get apples out of all of them? And it's just kind of a stylistic thing. Not really sure what I'm looking at, but I'm going to eat that. And we eat real quick, apparently. Cool. So we got some apple tree saplings. This is an interesting little thing here. What is going on up in here? Huh. Huh. I guess InDev has its moments, too. I don't know how much... I haven't actually played much InDev. I can't even remember the last time I did play InDev. So I don't know how much has actually been changed. Why don't we chop this tree down? Let's get us some wood. Get us an actual house. Something respectable. And then we'll wander around the island and see what we have. And when we get bored of that, I think I'll even go check out the other worlds. Because this is exploring InDev+. Plus. That's the whole point of this. We want to explore what InDev Plus has to offer. So I want to take a look at at least some of the other world types, like Hell, Paradise. Not sure what to expect there. Whoa, why are these apples separated? Huh. Strange. We got some melons, too. Um, I'm thinking... It looks like that's the only flower they added. Oh, no. We have this, too. Um, and these are in modern versions, so they kind of backported these. So that's interesting. Um, hmm. How big of an island do we have exactly? I, th I think I made it 512 by 512, but I gotta see what that looks like. Yeah, we have a pretty good space to work with here. Um, I don't know how much of the stream I really want to spend kind of setting up here, building stuff, building the world out versus checking out some of the other world types and seeing what that's all about. I at least want to look at, like, Hell and Paradise, because that's interesting. They also have that Shroom Land. That could be cool. Um, and you know what? We, we don't even really have to expand the starter house. We could just let that be another house. And I'm really wasting time. Let's, let's get some more wood. Let's get some more wood. And I want to mine some of that coal, too. There were two torches in that starter house. It's pretty nice of them. But we're definitely going to need more than two if we're going to do a whole lot. Thank you. And thank you. Excellent. I'm just going to commentate for a few more seconds, and then I'm going to pause real quick so I can check the stream. BRB. Okay, so that's interesting. The quality looks like garbage on my phone. I'm not sure if that's actually how it looks for anyone watching. Could have just been a weird preview thing. I really hope not. Um, I did do a test stream. Oh, you can only stack these four at a time. That's an interesting decision. It's an interesting design decision. Let's see, can I shift click? Yes, excellent. Oh, I cannot hold right. I cannot do that. I cannot do that, and I don't really understand why. And I don't know what these two things are. This looks like a sheath, I guess, for arrows, and that looks like a pendant. Not sure what we're really going to do with that. Where would I get a pendant? Oh, and they even, they even show us the stats for the tools. That's cool. And it doesn't take forever to mine simple stuff, hopefully. Hopefully. Did we even have workbenches in InDev? Honestly, not sure. Not sure. All right. Let's get some cobble. Let's get some cobble. And get to this coal. What's going on in here? It's already... It's already been mined out. It's already been mined out by Herobrine. Yeah, give me some of that. There we go. Sweet. It's really weird doing a live stream. I'm used to just not talking at all when I do boring things, so I can just edit it out later. 
but I don't get to do that now. That option is not available to me. That was a really good fall. Let's see what's in here. Let's hope. Let's hope there's nothing too bad too quickly. Nope, I think we're good. I don't see anything really of interest, but I do need some torches. There we go. Boom. And I don't think smooth lighting is actually a thing here. No, it isn't. Nope. No smooth lighting. This is just the lighting we have. Let's go up here. Uh Oh, I thought auto walk was on. It was feeling a little weird to me. Okay. So, I think we need to figure out where to build our house. I do, I do really want to get that iron, though. I want to get something good. I want to get something good. I'm not sure how dangerous the mobs really are. I don't know if he's fixed the terrible skeleton aim. But, yeah, where is that iron? There we go. And let's just do this real quick. Mine a little bit faster. Thank you. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's just get a stone axe as well. Okay, moment of truth. Yep, yep, things work pretty much normally. That's good. That is good. So I'll just go down here. Right here. Right? Yeah. Yes, that is in fact right. All right. Give me that iron. Give me that little bit of iron. Tiny little bit of iron. Uh, what was that? Oh, okay, so they brought raw iron back. Interesting. Very interesting. I guess it makes sense. Can't really complain. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Actually gave us a decent amount here. Look at this. Nice. Very nice. What do we got? 11. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. That did break my fall. I was skeptical. I was skeptical, but I gotta find out. Let's get a little bit more coal, and hmm, I think it's getting late in the day. We probably should, <laughs> probably should get back to the starter house and just expand that out. Might be our best bet. All right. God, I can rarely see a whole lot of the landscape. Yeah, so, um, I don't know if they have chickens or if they replace the chickens with ducks. Not really sure how this works. And I don't really know how the animal spawning works, so I don't know if I want to start taking them out. Is that a good move? Because it's a very solid chance it isn't. And I also don't know if we have breeding. That's kind of another thing. I might have to look some of this stuff up on my phone because it would be very good to know. I'm going to grab these melons. I'm not too worried about food. We, we have a decent amount of food, but I feel like I might as well. And can I make seeds? Yes. Good. Okay, we can grow our own melons. Really don't need these guys. Almost don't even want to mine them because kind of just added the landscape, but whatever. Whatever. This is a nice scene right here, this little gravel beach with the sugar cane and flowers and all that. That is pretty nice. Oh yeah, and the water sounds when you're standing by the water. It's pretty cool. Um, I imagine we have boats, although I'm not certain. And I do want to sail out there and see what's going on. Let's see, do we have boats? We do not have boats. No, we do not. Oh, let's take that bench. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I want to do anything with the clay. I guess since I can, I might as well. Give me that shovel. All right. Here we go. Oh, and it does float up to the surface. That's cool. I like that they did that. Yeah, honestly, I, I kind of like a lot of the decisions they made. This This does feel good. Has the nice kind of modern quality of life, but also the simplicity of InDev that makes it so fun. It makes it so nice and nostalgic. Okay. My god, that is a lot of... <laughs> it's a lot of noise. Gotta pick all of them up. Because they just keep going. Okay. Well, 
We got some clay, got some food, got some coal, got some iron. Let's find that house. Let's find that kind of crappy little house and make it a little less crappy. Oh, we got people in the live stream. This does look cool. Thank you, Plex Viridian. Thanks for showing up. Um, is that really old version? Because there was no ducks back in the day. Um, so this is an old new version. Um, this is a remake of InDev. InDev is a very old version, and I don't believe there were ducks. Although I'm not the expert on Minecraft history, so I'm not actually certain. Um, the sun is setting, so I need to find this house. And we do not have sprinting. We do not have sprinting. That is one thing they did not add. But it's okay, because there is my house. And sorry if I'm not super quick on responding to you guys, by the way, because the only way I can do it is on my phone. There is no room on my desk for a second monitor, or I'd be using that. Um, so I just have to make do with my phone and check that occasionally. Okay, cool. Got two oak doors. Only need one. And they don't have windows. That is... Uh, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. I'm really not. They are forcing me to make windows, aren't they? They are just forcing me to make windows. Okay. Let's see what the chests are like. Ah. They still work like that. They just face some random direction. Does it tell me? How do I know what direction I'm facing? Where does it say? Where does it say? Mm, I can't figure it out. I don't actually care that much. All right, let's throw all our, <laughs> our million melons in this chest. And I'm actually, just so we have some sort of food farm, if you want to call it that, I'm going to plant some apple trees. We have one right behind our house. We have one right behind our house. There is really no need. All right. Well, I did not get, <laughs> let's go ahead and make a, oh no. Ah, there's my cobble, good. I at least have enough for a furnace. That's what I want to see. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's do the iron. Might as well do the iron real quick. Uh, yes, this is a mod. Uh, I'm playing on the Betacraft launcher. This is called InDev Plus. Yeah, the original InDev is a pain. It is. There is not a whole lot. God, I hate not having windows. That is so not comfortable. I do have one piece of sand. I have exactly one piece of sand. And you know what? I just, I feel like killing things. So I'm going to make a sword. I don't know why it doesn't go straight to my hotbar when I shift click. It's a little weird. I'm going to take this iron sword and I'm going to see what's out here. I should probably go ahead and torch this guy up. At least a little bit. Try to keep the mobs off my back. I don't see any, though. I don't see any. Am I on peaceful mode on accident? Um, I should not be. If I am, that would be really annoying. That would be really annoying. Ah, uh, I see a creeper. Never mind. Never mind, creeper. You're dead. I think. Whoa. Oh, that's an interesting hit sound. Da. 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 Okay. I'll kill one more. Do they actually drop anything? Is there gunpowder? Is there TNT? Ah, uh, there's another one. Ah, there we go. They do drop gunpowder, just very rarely. I'm almost surprised they didn't change the name to Sulfur. Um... Because wasn't it called Sulfur at some point? Officially, if you scrolled over it, it actually said Sulfur. I'm not sure. Um, that could have just been a texture pack I saw someone using. Let's see. Okay, so there's lots of creepers, but I don't see any skeletons, and I don't see any zombies. Don't see a whole lot here. Strange. Are creepers really the only mob in the game? Oh, no, there's a zombie. Okay. Finally. Finally. Now I just need to find a skeleton. Do we have crits? Crits? Not really? What is that? I mean, 
Yes. I don't know why I'm asking. It can only be one thing. It can only be one thing. Rotten flesh. Plus five, minus three. Huh. Well, I want to look around a little bit more, see if there are spiders, maybe. Spiders, skeletons, anything at all. Because I saw some footage of Indev recently. Um, and I, I think they were in a different biome. I think they were in a desert. And I'm pretty sure there was this weird, like, I don't know, desert spider looking thing. There is a spider. We do have spiders. Okay. I don't know why the mobs are so scarce. It's a little weird. I guess they're going for maybe a more relaxing feeling. And there's kind of an interesting delay when I hit the sword. Because you can hear me clicking pretty fast. And there is a big delay there. So can't spam click. Can't play Hunger Games like you can in the later versions. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot going on out here. So I think I'm going to head back to the house. I'm going to grab some sand right before I do that, actually. And we need to make some windows. We need to make some windows. And I might even chop some logs down just to make the house a little bit more interesting. Give me this. I don't know if there's anything cool if we go further out in the map. Not really sure. I don't know if they have, like, you know, treasure chests hidden out there or ships or something. Probably not. I, they seem to be trying to keep it simple with this one. Give me that sand. Give me that sand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 11 is plenty. 11 is plenty. My ability to actually estimate how many blocks I need for anything is terrible, so I don't know why I keep trying like it means anything. Yeah, 11's enough. Should be perfectly enough. I at least want to make a little log frame around the house. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like these patches. I'm going to have to displace some dirt. I'm going to take this dirt, and it is basically daytime now. All right. Spent the whole night walking around, essentially. The sunset does look good. I don't know if it actually looks any different than it does normally, but it looks pretty nice. That is a nice sunset. All right, creeper. You cannot be here. This place is not for you. And I know, I know I'm getting the sand. I know I'm getting the sand for windows, but I gotta try. I mean, they added, yes. Yes. Have to do it. Okay. Now we can get some windows. So how does the TNT work in this version? Uh, or in this mod, I should be saying. To avoid being confusing. Goodbye, zombie. Whoa. The delay was not on my side in that case. Uh, who else? I want to find a straggling creeper. Just one stray creeper, please. I want to give him a taste of his own medicine. Hmm. Nope. Nope. I have been denied that opportunity, apparently. Okay, next time night falls, I'm going to blow a creeper up with TNT. I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Okay. Yes, give me my windows. And honestly, honestly, we need to make this a lot bigger. We need to make this quite a bit bigger. And <laughs> I don't know why the door is here. This is stupid. This is stupid. The door should actually be right about here. So, yeah, I messed up. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to blame the map. I'm going to blame the map for spawning me in with this weird house. Build this in a little. There we go. Nice. And yeah, definitely need to expand this. Is it done? It's done. Okay. Give me that so I can move it. Boom. So I don't actually have an insane amount of space. I don't have an insane amount of space here, but I can always just extend it out this way, I guess. Eh, 
And there goes one of my torches. Yeah, I think I'm just going to extend it in one direction. Um, I don't really have a plan in mind for that, so we'll just see. We'll see how that goes. Whoa. Yeah, everything feels slightly different in this mod. Even just the jumping. The way you jump just feels a little bit different. All right, there we go. Yeah, I don't want to make this crazy big. And I don't actually plan, plan to spend a crazy amount of time in this world. I do want to check out some of the other world types and really just kind of explore the whole mod. But we can get something basic set up and, I don't know, go into ravine, go underground, see if they have cave systems. I, I really just don't know what's in this mod. I just have no clue. You know, I do have something in mind for this house. I, I, I'm really, I'm making the mistake of tryharding on a house I don't actually care about all that much. But I do have something in mind and I'm going to have to extend it a little bit more. But that's a look good. Ah, uh, we have cows. We have two kinds of cows. And I'm going to make a bucket. Yeah, let's go over here and make a bucket. Might as well. Might as well milk one. And I don't... Ah, uh, well, I was wondering if we have achievements. Do I get an achievement for milking a cow? That does not give me anything, this cow. What about you? It doesn't give me anything either. Why are there two kinds of cows? Is it just for fun? I'm guessing it is. I'm going to get some uh, leather, not meat, apparently. Um, let's kill this guy. Okay, they only seem to drop leather. They don't drop meat, and I don't know why. That doesn't make much sense. I'm going to make some shears. I'm not super attached to the iron. What about you? Okay, the duck doesn't give you anything at all. Cool. Nothing gives you anything ever. Wait, what am I doing? I need, I need, <laughs> I need this. I need flint. As long as I don't have it, yeah. Okay. Here we go. I get to do this for an hour. Whoop. This is how you get flint in Indev Plus, right? It is. It is how you get it. There we go. Cool. Lighter. They call it a lighter. So if I do something like this. Wow. Just absolutely dodged it. There we go. What happens? What happens? I gotta know. If I bump into them. Nope. Does not catch me on fire. And okay. Nope. There's really just no point to any of that. Well, there's one more iron thing I can make. And that's shears. Wait a minute. Can I make shears in this? Do we have shears? No. No shears. Okay, well, this is supposed to be an old version, so can I punch them to get wool? I can. I can do that. That is something I can do. I wonder if, uh... Well, that one gave me three. Can I mix them together to make a bed? Let's find out. We're finding everything out. Uh, lots of melons. Not what I came here for. Let's get that. There we go. Got our bed. How does it look? Yep, just the, uh, just the bed. Just the bed. Cool. Let's finish extending this, and then we'll complete this house. Yeah, I think that could... Yeah, I'll go one more. One more. One more, and then fill it in. Fill it in. I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. I apologize if my keyboard and mouse comes through really loud, or my voice doesn't sound as great as it usually does in my recorded videos, because I don't have anything fancy set up to process it. So you're just hearing everything as it is. And I'll take that wool for absolutely no reason. Uh, I need logs. I really need logs. And... I don't have bones, so I can't get bone meal at the moment. But I imagine there are skeletons in this version. How can they add every other mob but skeletons? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, let's see. Yeah, many more logs. 
many more logs. I just want to make a little log frame around the house. And I do have seven glass. Probably going to need more now that I've extended everything, but whatever. Instant eat. I love the instant eat. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's really just nothing I can do to help along the, uh, the growth of these trees. Just got to deal with it. Here, I think I'll extend this like this. Boom. Actually, just so it looks a little more symmetric from the outside, I'll do that. And then, boom. Now we can actually see. And, ah. I don't like my windows running right into the side like this. I just, I have always hated doing that. I have to do something a little more like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's nicer, and of course, I am one short. Oh, that's great. That's great. I love it. I love that. Give me wool. Give me wool. Give me all the wool. I can take it without damaging them, so I'm just going to take it all for absolutely no reason. I don't know if I love these flowers. I don't hate them. I just... I, I, I don't know about them. I don't know about them. I will take that apple, though. Okay. Let me check chat super quick. Hello, Luke boy. I don't remember why I subbed, but I know it was good because I subbed. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you break the saplings? Yes. You can break the saplings. I will go back to one. Well, here they are. Boom. Boom. So. Kill the pig. Kill the pig. Kill the pig. Maybe the pig gives me... Why am I punching it with my fist? I have an iron sword. God, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, one thing I'm kind of curious about now is... Are there caves? Do we have caves? If I dig down, what am I going to find? And I know we had some entryways over here. Into some caves, seemingly. Take a little look. Hmm. Well, I'm not trying to get ambush, but there's just not a whole lot around to do the ambushing. So, honestly, let's make a little mine. And I have five iron, so I can always make another pickaxe. Yeah, let's go down. Where are we? Uh, wow, I've not looked in here before. I don't know where anything is. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. I see the XYZ now. <laughs> I looked everywhere except for where I needed to look. I don't know why that always happens when I hit F3. What the hell? Come on, Torch. Gotta place him up high so I don't hit him on accident. Okay, so we have something. Apparently? Yeah, we have some kind of cave system thing going on here, but... Eh... Uh, I don't know if these actually lead anywhere significant. I think they're just kind of here. Oh, you could get lost in these so easily. So easily. Yeah, they feel more like real life caves where they don't necessarily go anywhere interesting and they, you know, generally don't. But we do have some gold. So that means... Ah, uh, of course I didn't bring a crafting bench. <laughs> I brought a furnace and not a crafting bench. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to eat this apple. Nope, I'm not going to eat that apple. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to make this iron pick and get this gold. Raw gold? God, I have too much crap in my inventory. Yeah, give me that raw gold. I don't know what it's good for. I wonder if they beefed the gold at all. I wonder if they made the gold a little less stupid. <laughs> Because it's kind of stupid. It's kind of stupid. If the durability was bumped by like 50%, I would like gold a lot more. But yeah, it's mostly just good for like powered rails and whatnot. And I guess in <laughs> newer versions, the piglins. Yeah, so I can only stack the apples two at a time. That is... That's weird. It's definitely weird. Uh, throw the flowers out. Those are a dime a dozen. 
Uh, and you know what? This cave can just keep the workbench. I really, I really just don't care enough. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot here. I'm going to keep F3 open for just a few more minutes. I want to get down to Y level 12-ish and see what we can find. I might as well run the stone pick down a little. Yeah, I keep I keep running into these like mini caves. These mini caves and it's a little annoying, honestly. There we go. Just slightly annoying. Whoa, you are like Yeah, I'm holding shift right now and you can walk around really fast when you're sneaking. This is kind of crazy. Wow. Okay. Onward. Onward. We have to keep going. We have to keep pressing. I want to get to Y level 12 and see if I can find any diamonds at all. And my god, these torches, <laughs> their range is not very far. It is not very far. I guess I'll take more of this. I wonder, can I craft a golden apple? Well, I would have to smelt this first. And I do have a furnace, but I think I'll just do that when I get out. There we go. 29 gold. Pretty good. Pretty good. I guess it's not incredibly rare, so it's probably not actually that useful. That would be my guess. All right. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. 38. 37. So close. God, these torches just do not last. Hmm. I, I keep finding these and thinking it's going to be something interesting, but it never is. It never is. It's just a few blocks mined out for me. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm hearing zombies, so presumably there is something going on down here. Oh, where are they, though? Where are they? Turn off F3. That's getting a little annoying. Uh, I hope I'm not missing anything interesting, like a dungeon. Ooh. Oh, I'm hearing things. I am hearing things. Let's just go in here a little bit. Definitely not lava in here, obviously, but what about down here? Ah. See, if I drop down, I'm never going to find this. I know that. I know that. I'm never going to find this again. I'll just have to very quickly get back up here. Okay. Yes. Cool. Let me make torches real fast. Oh, God. Boom. Okay. So, yes, we do have actual cave systems, and we do have actual diamonds. These are not diamonds. I was just joking. What are these? Emerald. I was about to guess that, but who knows? Okay. So, that's awesome. I like that we actually have cave systems. There are diamonds. Um, why does it take so long with an iron pick? That scares me. That really scares me. Let me check chat super quick. Super quick. Possibly true, because he's an entertaining guy. Thank you, Plex. Thank you. I try. Oh, what's up, Akron? Welcome. Mining in this version looks cool with the blocky particles. I agree. Yeah, these big chunky particles that come out. That's really cool. I like it. I wish it was an unmodded Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I can see this last comment. YouTube is conspiring to get in my way. Someone said, we can see nothing while he sees something. I hate that about YouTube. I couldn't read the whole comment, though, because, well, YouTube Studio sucks, so I guess I hate YouTube, too. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. So I'm suspecting right now that maybe I have to mine the diamond with emerald because I feel like this really, really long mining time is kind of a warning. Like, wait, 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 it doesn't work like you think it does. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
But I only have two emeralds. I only have two. And I absolutely need more torches. I absolutely need more torches. That is essential. God, I have so much junk. Way too much junk. Let's organize my inventory just like a tiny, tiny little bit. So I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, where are we? 22. So we can still find some good stuff, even if we're not on Y level 12. But I do like that. I do like that. Let's get over here. Really hard to see anything. Whoop. Fell. Fell. That was a fail. Boom. Yes. 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 Yes, sir. Give. Get the fuck out of my way. I got the emerald. I got the emerald. I can't believe there wasn't lava straight under it, but I got it. So, well, here's the moment of truth. Once again, I am having to make a new workbench. Once again. Okay. I don't trust this at all. The game has been very nice as far as, like, mob spawning goes. I don't see many mobs. Um, I, I don't remember choosing a difficulty, so maybe it defaults to a really easy one. Not sure. Ah, cool. So we got the emerald pickaxe. Um, let's take this before I forget. Ah, uh, my inventory. Oh, my inventory. I don't think I have any red mushrooms, so even if they have mu mushroom stew in this, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know what, I might as well get full iron at some point. I might as well. I keep passing up the iron like it isn't worth anything. But it most certainly is. And so is this gold. Maybe. I'm guessing, but I have faith. Come on. Come on. Emerald? There we go. So I wonder if the emerald has any magical powers of some kind. It's not super rare. Give me those. Thing. Oh, no, I can't take them. Wow. This inventory is killing me. It's killing my soul. I don't need rotten flesh. Who needs rotten flesh? Let's see, I feel like something's stuck over here. Hmm. I was hearing some splashing. Some splashing. Give me this. Give me this cobble. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's definitely emerald. Wow, why can we move so fast when we're sneaking? It's so... Ah. Uh, I mean, I like it. I like it. It's just weird. Very weird. What happened to that diamond? There it is. Let's see if we have to use the emerald. You know what? That's probably correct. That's probably correct. I don't need these saplings. Yeah, I bet that's how that works. Gotta get the emerald to get the diamond. Uh, I wonder how they compare, though. Come on, let's get me up one more. Thank you. Yeah, we have enough emerald for another pick, so I don't mind using this a bunch. Let's see, 8 efficiency, that is 6. 5 damage, 512 durability, nice. Yeah, emerald is uh, quite a bit better. I kind of want to make a diamond pick just to know. I got to know. I have to know the truth. And you really can't go wrong with a diamond pick. Actually, I can see it right here. 10 efficiency. This has 8. Uh, that has 6 damage. That has 5. Okay, so the diamond is quite a bit above emerald, actually. I won't even make that. I won't even make that. So emerald is just between iron and diamond, it seems. Oh. I did ask earlier, though. What's gold like? Oh, that's raw gold. I'm stupid. Here. Let's go ahead and smelt. Let's go ahead and smelt. Plenty of coal around here, so... Ah, uh, get the hell out of here. I don't want that. Oh, no. It's going to keep floating to the top. I can't avoid it. Ah. The rotten meat... The stupid rotten meat. All right, give me this. Give me. Give me. Give me quick. Give me quick. So probably no enchanting, probably no brewing, probably none of these things, which I like. I like enchanting. I like brewing. Um, I never really think to brew, but I really like having the option. And when I do remember to, I never regret it. It's always nice charging into the nether with fire resistance and just 
being practically invincible. Okay. God, there's just there's so many ores. There's really just so much stuff to find. So much stuff. And the ores are pretty generous. The veins, I mean. These vein sizes are nice. Very nice. There we go. Okay. What else? What else? Check out up here just a little bit. Nothing really. Nothing. Nothing of interest. Okay. Sweet. I love it. Probably got to refuel this. Oh, yeah. Well, we got our gold ingots at least, so let's go ahead and see. Uh, where did my sticks go? Actually, let's do this. There we go. Okay. What have they done with gold? Two efficiency, two damage, 64 durability. Still, still god-awful, trash, stupid bullshit. But, but... Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Really? I can't make golden apples in this version. Or in this mod, rather. In this mod. Can I... What can I make? Okay, okay. That's the original... I'm not losing anything by crafting this. This, this, this. Oh my god, this. This right here. Yes. Um... <laughs> We were just talking about this, me and Klungus, uh, when we were on the Betacraft server, uh, or Beta Land rather. Uh, we were just talking about this block, how nice the old uh, gold block looked in Indev. It's so nice. I love it. It's this like nice mango gradient. God, that's like one of the most memorable things about Indev for me. Just, just the nice gold block. Uh, I don't know if any others looked quite as cool, but. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to actually do with this because we can't make golden apples. Golden tools suck. We probably don't have rails. Hmm. How would you make a powered rail? Well, I don't have redstone, so it doesn't matter. Oh, well. Let's look around a little bit more. Nope, nothing back here. Oh, maybe. Nope. Nope. Not really. It is a cool little little feature, though. Okay. Let's go up more in the cave. Let's go up a little bit more in this here cave. Let's see. So dark. So dark. So much that needs to be torched up. Let me put that guy there. Yeah. Okay, even more gold. Wow. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that exactly, but... It is most certainly there, and these caves are actually expansive. I don't know. Did we have caves like this in Indev? I'm not super familiar with Indev. I just don't know. I don't know. I am hearing lava, I think. Could be going crazy, but I'm pretty sure that's lava. Yeah, give me these diamonds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one, too. That one, too. And also this. Yes, sir. So I guess emerald and diamond is really what you want to look for in these caves. Grab some more iron. Honestly, if we keep finding ores the way we're finding them, I'll probably have diamond armor in no time at all. Honestly. And as far as I can see, diamond is still the best thing in the game. They have preserved that. So here we go. Get me that coal that I don't actually need that bad, but I just like punching blocks with pickaxe. Give me this. Give me that. Okay. Oh, that's interesting, the way the water flowed. They don't actually have flowing water. You just have a source block. <laughs> it just spawns in more source blocks. Interesting. Interesting. Torch this place up so we can see what we're working with. But, yeah, I really like the caves. I like the caves. Nice and expansive. Ooh, I have to go in there and find that. This creeper is freaking out, I think. It looked like it was just spinning around. You spin me right round. Go ahead. Go ahead. It literally makes no difference. Yeah, I'm going to find that lava. I'm going to find that shit. Am I crazy or is there something going on here? 
Oh, I'm standing on obsidian. That's, that's... Okay. Let's go in here. Whoa. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, I just flooded the cave. Okay, that is an interesting way to do the water mechanics. I just flooded the cave. That was not my plan. That was not my plan at all. Wow. Okay, so apparently you have to be pretty careful with uh, water. At least when it's coming down on you like that, because that was absurd. Yeah, I just I just raised the level. Okay. Feels like I'm playing like Half-Life. I'm just I just did some puzzle. Raise the water level and then go here and then go there. Okay. What's in here? What is in here? Anything at all? Is there any reason to kind of hang around lava pools or am I being a bit stupid? Probably being stupid. I think I'm just going to go. I think I'm just going to dip on that one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's torch this wall up. It's like one of the few places that is not torched up. But, yeah, I think I've, I've mostly conquered this cave. Got some stuff here. Got some stuff here. Maybe? Mm, no, actually no. We don't really got any stuff. We don't really got any stuff. Okay, well, I am here for stuff. And there is a stuff. There might be exactly one stuff right here. Yep. I'll mine around a little bit just to, just, just to be sure. Just to be sure. Yep. Yep. One stuff. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess I could mine more gold. God, there's just so much. So many ores everywhere. They're just so exposed. Okay, well, maybe the full diamond armor isn't happening. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. Well, I at least want to complete this cave. I at least want to get the whole thing torched up. Be able to say I really conquer this thing. But is there anything... Ooh, it does go further back. It does go quite a bit further back. That is... Yeah... Yeah, how much gold? Okay, we have a pretty good amount of iron. I feel like I should probably make armor. And now I have to wonder, where the hell? <laughs> I've probably placed like three workbenches just throughout this whole thing. Oh, God. But now, if, see, if I go back and try to find it, I'm not going to be able to get back here. So I have to make a new one. <laughs> I have to make a new one. <laughs> what am I going to do? Hmm, thought I saw something. All right, give me workbench, throw the gold block out, then immediately take it back. Um, that's right, armor. Actually, <laughs> actually, I have some smelting to do, so it's not quite that easy. It's not quite that easy. Give me that mango block. I was here. I was here. I only need three, actually, to make exactly enough for a full set. Okay. While that's cooking, let's look back here a little bit more. See what we get. See what we get. See what we get. Still not sure how I feel about the torches. They don't really extend out a whole lot. They don't extend out a whole lot. And honestly, you know, I like smooth lighting. I mean, I'm not a complete nostalgia purist. I like some smooth lighting. But I do like this too. I do like this too. It does have a very a very Minecraft feel to it. So definitely not complaining. Hmm. Well, there's nothing in here. There's pretty much nothing in those. And there's nothing around here, seemingly. Okay. More torches. Yes, I made a stack and a quarter because apparently that's what I need to do. Apparently, I need to do that, because I just keep running out. Good thing I have extra. Good thing I have lots of extra. I don't have lots of extra wood. I'm surprised I even came down here with wood, because I basically never do that. I never do that. 
Okay. I'll take some iron. I'll take some iron. It's there. It's in front of my face. What am I supposed to do? Just ignore it. And... Let's see, this doesn't seem to go back, really. So I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it for this cave. Take a little bit of this. And I think we'll just get out of here because... I seem to have basically explored the whole thing. And this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm making a second one. I just don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. Probably have lots of time, actually. But there we go. I am not patient. I am not patient. Give me the mango block. All right. Now I'm going to check chat because some things have happened. Stacking two apples is no problem. At least they are stackable. Yeah, at least they're stackable. That is that is very true. At least they're stackable. <laughs> Maybe it's like redstone, the diamonds. They take a year but will still drop. You could be right. You could be right, but I'm absolutely not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. And given the massive difference in how long it takes with, you know, emerald versus iron, I think it's probably that you're just not supposed to do it with iron. But I would have to look it up. Yeah, the emerald pickaxe. Venue craft mapping is bored, unfortunately, guys. Guys, we have failed. We have failed venue craft mapping. He does not like this. He does not like this. It's like, where's the elytra? Where's the this? Where's the that? Where's it all? Are you even really playing Minecraft right now? Boom. Almost got full. Almost got full. And boom. Got it. Okay, cool. So I think I'm just going to break these and get the hell out of here because I'm sick of this cave. I am sick of this cave. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, God. What am I going to throw out? Ah, uh, that's worthless. I still want that, though. I still want that. I'm taking the workbench. I am taking the workbench. That's more important. Now, can I figure out how I got down here? That is the real question. I know I dropped down. And I haven't completely forgot where that was. Give me some of this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yep, it was here. This is where I dropped down. And I think I was cooking something in here. Not totally sure. Yes. Cool. Well, I will take this for no real reason. Yep, it must have been there. Actually, have I really been throughout this whole thing? Have I really? Hmm... Mm. Is this what I flooded, perhaps? I mean, what haven't I flooded at this point? Yeah. No, I don't really see anything interesting here. I think I'm just going to head out. I think I'm just going to go. Get back to the surface. Start breathing some high-quality air. Yeah, it must have been here. Okay. Well, nope. One more. There we go. That should be perfect. That should get us there. Whoa. Oh, you kind of have to... Oh, what's, what's even the term for that? I'm sure there's a term for <laughs> stacking yourself up like that. But you have to do it kind of manually. Oh, God. No. No, I'm probably never coming back here, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but no. No. I'm not hitting my head on this over and over. Never. Never, not even once. Nope. 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 Okay. There's a workbench. Probably gonna find another soon. God, how am I down here? Like, what? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Scared the fuck out of me. Well, I have armor. Whoa. It's got these purple little... Little arrows. So there are in fact skeletons in this in this mod. I was I was kind of wondering, do I really need these? 
Oh, what do I want to throw out? <sighs> ah, there's sheep everywhere up there. It's not, not super important. Let's get up here. Okay. Okay. Yes, here, finally. Oh, my God. Of course it's nighttime. It's always nighttime when I leave the cave, but we're here. And you have some pants that I kind of like. And their aim does still suck. Their aim does still suck, and he didn't drop anything. Anything, but he did give us bones. Let's see. Um, I can get plenty of those easily. So we do have bone meal. We do have bone meal. I guess I can use that on saplings, but what else can I use that on? Because we don't seem to have seeds. We don't seem to have seeds. I could kill these guys for their arrows. And you never know. I might get lucky and get that helmet. Even though I don't need it. Even though I don't need it. Nope. Nope, nothing. I don't know if I love the combat. I almost love the more simplistic Minecraft combat. Just without the delay, just the spam click. I kind of prefer it, honestly. Whoa. Yeah, I'm really being surrounded. Can they actually drop this armor that I wonder? Okay, I'm, I'm hurting. I wonder if they can really drop that armor if I'm just kind of being fooled. That is not the food I want. That is not the food I want. That's a little better. You get the hell away. You get the hell away. I don't know why they're just now spawning the armor. And I don't know why they never drop it. I really don't want that junk. I'm just going to go back in the house. Going back in the house. Let's see. Yeah, so, uh, doors. That has been one useless thing in my inventory. Why did they take the windows out? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why would you do that? What is the actual point in doing that? Okay. I don't know if I like the uh, stone floor. I think I might make a slightly different design decision on that. Okay, let's just sleep. Wait. Hmm. Could that be a problem? Is there a remote possibility? Let's find out. And it's interesting you can move around in the bed. Oh, how does this work? Is it just speeding things up? Maybe you don't actually sleep. You just speed things up. Maybe? Huh, I'm... What is going on? How does this work? How, how does sleeping work? I, I really, I don't know. Okay. Okay, I guess I slept. Um, I end up needing a lot of planks. Yeah, there's my axe. In fact, how many emeralds do I have? Eight. Great. Great. Okay, so I'm just going to make one of these real quick. Got the emerald axe. Now I can chop these down real quick. Sweet. There we go. Yeah, I definitely need logs. I need logs so I can make this house a little bit less of a starter house. This is a slightly revamped starter house. This guy is a crackhead and a half. Look at this. What are you doing? I want to see if he can damage anything while he's in the water. Nope. Apparently not. Apparently not. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Have to do this kind of manually, but that's okay. That is okay. I need you. Thank you. Ah. Uh, I wish I wish they stacked up to like 4 or something. I wish the apples stacked up to 4. Because this is just a little obnoxious. Okay. Well, we got seven more. I don't really know how many I'm going to need for this. But I do have bones that I put away in the chest, of course. I always put everything I need in my inventory in the chest. Always. Okay. 
Yes, we do have bone meal. Okay. So, I might as well plant the apple saplings, I guess, because that gives me apples as well. All right, does it instant grow? I'm right-clicking on the sapling right now. I'm, I'm sure you can hear it. This, uh... Yeah, this, this doesn't seem to work. Okay, well, what can I do with them? What the hell can I do with bone meal? What's the point? I can't feed it to anything, seemingly. Here. Cow, do you eat bone meal? Do you like bone meal? No. <laughs> oh my god, why is there always a creeper stuck in this stupid little thing? Don't even care about the gunpowder. And I still have this TNT to blow one of them up. Well, this is weird. I thought I could just grow this right here. Um, apparently not. Not quite sure why that is. Well, I'll plant them. I will plant them. Get some more logs and then finish the house off. And I think I'll probably create a new world and we'll check out some of the other world types. That should be fun. Let's finish this guy. Don't know if 18 is enough. In fact, it's it's definitely not enough. Definitely not enough, but it's a start. And I'm sure you can't place them sideways, which... Oh, you can. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. That is actually okay. In this case, it works. Okay, I guess I'll chop you down. Chop this apple tree down. There we go. I wonder if there's an advantage to punching this directly versus just taking the wood out. Have to wonder. Have to wonder. I'm not familiar with this. There we go. And I like how quickly the axe just chops down those branches. Super nice. Okay. 15. Got a little bit more food. I'll just eat that now. I'll just eat that now because I can. There we go. And one more. And one more. Yeah. Figured that wouldn't be nearly enough. God, I hate not being able to use the bone meal. I don't know why they added it if it doesn't seem to do anything. Does it just have a really obscure purpose? Is it just used as a die, maybe? I, I really just don't know. I don't know. Don't know how the world works. But I do know I need log. Yeah, the seaside sounds are super nice. That's one thing I very much like. They cut off kind of abruptly. Kind of abruptly. It's almost the kind of thing I would expect in InDev, to be honest. It's like the occasional thing that's kind of rough around the edges, but not actually a problem. Yeah, I don't really see anything over here. I don't really see anything over here. Okay. Let's return to the house. Uh, pray that this is enough wood. It probably isn't. I'm going to kill a duck one more time to see if it drops anything at all. I'm going to kill one more duck just to see if it drops anything at all. No. No. It dropped like string or something, but no meat. And that's one thing I don't understand. That's one thing that actually annoys me about older versions of the game, is that you can only get meat from pigs. I just fell right in a hole. Right in a hole. It's a little better. It's like slightly better. Four. Oh my god, I'm gonna be like too short or something. Yep. Yep. That figures. That absolutely figures. Is it just... Mm, I could just be crazy. It almost seems like as the durability of these tools goes down, they become like less vibrant. Like the icon becomes less vibrant. Maybe I'm just making things up. I don't know. Ooh. Might need to mine some more sand. I do want to add windows to this. Okay. 
so that frame thing is done. Now for the windows. I think I'll do them just like that. That should work. I always debate whether my houses should be as open as they are. I always debate it. I always debate it. Because there's always the privacy thing, like, would I really live in a house like this in real life if if it was just completely open and I could be seen from, like, any angle from the outside? Probably not. I, I probably would not go for that. But we're in Minecraft, so I think, I think we can make an exception. Okay. Drop down one more tree. Just one more tree. And then get that glass... And I think we'll call the house done, and we'll probably create a new world then. Just so we can see what other world types there are and what they look like. I want to see hell and how similar it is to the nether. I want to see just how inspired the nether was from hell. Then again, he might have seriously modified it. Who knows? Okay, get back to the house. I hate not having <laughs> anything there, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. And... Here. Just give me that. Give me all that. Okay. Let's get let's get an actual little setup here. Do I really not have a furnace with me? Wow. That is something else. Okay, let's get the chest at least. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. The the absolute last thing. The absolute last thing I could have picked up. Wow, my inventory is actually full. It is actually completely and totally full. Amazing. Okay. Take it. Take it all. Now, I do need this. I do need that. Throw those guys in there. And I don't really want to make stone, to be honest. I don't really want to make stone. I think I'd rather just turn this. Ah, oh, that takes the door out too. Damn. I think I'd rather just turn this into wooden planks. Not the most original thing in the world, but oh well. There we go. Okay. I'm sure this is enough planks. I'm sure this is... Okay. I was debating if I should even put planks under them because we all know it only matters in your head. Okay. Well, please tell me I have more. I do. I do, in fact, have more. And that is enough. There we go. Okay, now we have an actual kind of house here. Let's go ahead and finish that, and finish this, and start on that. And once we get all the glass in place, ooh, I should probably put a door on my house, a windowless door, a windowless door, because I love windowless doors. It's really something I like. There we go. Cool. Okay. Is there anything else to see in this world, I wonder? Let me look at chat real quick. Maximilian had to leave because he had to do homework. Well, thanks for tuning in. I think the best sound is the old door sound. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty classic. Oh, you can get seeds by using the hoe on grass. Okay, well, if that's true, he said that was true in alpha, so I guess we'll have to see. We'll just have to see. Um... 
I think this calls for a diamond hoe, really, because this is really the moment of truth. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Okay. Okay. What, what if I do this? No. No. Okay, so I can I, I can make farmland, so presumably I can plant things. I actually, since they're right over there, we'll go ahead and do it. We might as well do it. I've been talking about the melons the whole time. I've been talking about them the whole time. Why don't we actually plant some? Ah, okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean now. A seedy place. Cool. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I probably never would have tried that, honestly. Never would have tried that in a million years. But I got melon seeds, too. Um, probably... Eh, yeah, melons. Melons are iffy. Melons are iffy. I don't know why I'm doing this over here away from the house. I really, really don't have an answer for that. Come on, give me seeds. Give me seeds. Ooh, did that give me melon? I, I thought I saw some dark seeds pop up. Maybe if you do it around melons, it's more likely to happen. I don't know. Can I jump on this to ruin it? Yes. Yes, I can. Cool. Does it even have to be by water? Because these are doing fine. Or is it because it doesn't have to be super far away from water? I don't know. I don't know. Give me that. Quit bouncing around. Oh, I thought we were a lot further from the house than we were. Never mind. Never mind. But I do need to put some torches on this guy. We need torches. Um... I think I'll put one there. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like this not being torched up. So, I'm going to stick that there. Yeah, and we should be fine. I'll just move them just like that. Should probably have one right in the middle. The symmetry just happened to work out on this one. Always love when that happens. And we have enough glass now. There we go. That is something of a house. A little bit better than the starter shack. Just a little bit better. And I threw my bone meal in the chest. Of course I did. Of course I did. Let's go back. Let's go back and get it. Cool. All right. I wonder how they did the armor in this version. Because I know in beta... The only difference between, say, iron and diamond is the durability, but they protect you exactly the same. Um, why am I not allowed to use bone meal on this stuff? Does bone meal just maybe not work in this? Because it doesn't seem to do anything. It doesn't spawn any grass. And by the way, I haven't seen a whole lot of grass, like actual grass blocks like that. So I was starting to wonder if seeds were even in this. But we have seeds, and I have bone meal right here. I'm I'm ready to use it. Weird. Luck-based getting seeds. Yeah, I see that. Pink flowers. There are pink flowers. And I'm not 100% sure why they brought those back. I'm really not sure. I guess we can plant one over here. Yeah, why not? Not terrible. Not terrible. And I think I'll take one of these, too. Plant some flowers around here and make it look a little... A little nice. There we go. There we go. Even torch the land up a little bit. Just classic old Minecraft style. Boom. There we go. Now it feels like we actually own this land a little bit more. Now we can see what we're doing. Okay, cool. Very cool. Let's go ahead and try to sleep. However that actually works in this. Really not sure. 
I got rid of my bed. Yeah, I'll take that back. Um, ah, screw it. We'll go right here. Okay, does this make any difference? Like, at all? Is there any point to being in a bed? Let me actually look outside. Mm, I'm trying to I'm trying to judge the speed of the stars, but I really I can't tell. This doesn't seem to do anything. Like what is the point in laying in the bed? Does anyone happen to know because this is like <laughs> kind of pointless? Is it just for fun or what? Okay, Lukey boy had to go. See you. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Well, I'm not exactly sure why I'm laying in this bed anymore. I guess I'm just going to get out. Seriously, what the hell is the point? Why have a bed? Why have a bed if, if you literally just lay in it? It doesn't do anything. That is strange. Well, I think we should retire this world because, well, I do want to grow some crops. I at least want to see some of my crops grow and then basically we'll just explore the other worlds. We're not going to go too deep into the survival. I just wanted to use this world to kind of see what all we have. Uh, is that spider okay? Okay, I don't know what's happening around here. I'm going to play some torches just to kind of make it a little friendlier looking. Just a little friendlier looking. There we go. Cool. Ah, oh, man. I wish we could make a boat. I just want to sail out and see what's out there. Because I hate to think that there might be something really, really cool. Uh, no, I, for some reason, the top of that tree over there looked like a slime. Like, from this angle, it just, it's kind of the transparent outside and the more opaque kind of core. It looked a lot like a slime. Come on, grow. Grow. God damn it, why won't you grow? I'm going to do this, just in case it does anything. There we go. Yeah, well, the bone meal is disappointing. Disappointing. Doesn't seem to have any purpose. Let's see. We do have clay, too. I wonder if the bricks looked any different. Because I feel like the bricks never really changed a whole lot in terms of their appearance across the versions. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's smelt. Also, I do still have this TNT. I still have this TNT. I could blow something up with it. I don't exactly know how the TNT works. But I could definitely try to blow something up with it. Just before I leave. Let's see. I wanted to blow up a creeper, but... I might just have to settle for this pig. God, the animals walk around a lot. They just keep going. No, pig. Pig, other way. Pig! Yes. Yes. Achievement get. I'm glad he brought back achievement get. Achievement get is the correct text to display. Okay, well, I think we've explored this world pretty well enough. Um, it's just a tiny island world. It's a 512 by 512, so... You know, probably not a whole lot else to find here. So I think I'm about ready to move on. I think I'm ready to move on. I want to go check out one of the hell worlds or maybe the paradise world. Um, they also had that shroom land. These all sound cool. So I was really hoping these crops could grow in time, but found out a little too late how that actually works. So I'm going to have to give up my beautiful tools. My absolutely amazing tools. Nope. Nope. We're not getting any bread. 
It does grow reasonably fast, but I guess I guess that's not happening in this one. So, all right, I'm gonna save and quit. And there I am. I still have my iron on for some reason. Not sure why. So that was that. That was exploration. Let's create a new one. Um, let's go to hell. Uh, this is not the setting. This is not the setting. God damn it. I have to go back through. I don't know if it actually matters. Yeah, let's go hell theme. Hmm. Do you want to do island or like floating or desert? Hmm. I wonder if we did type moon on hell. I don't really, really, really want to do it because then we can't really tell which is which. But I do want to see what this looks like. This could be fun. All right, what does hell look like? What is Minecraft hell? What on earth or on hell? I don't have oxygen or like, uh, excuse me, I don't have oxygen. I don't, what, what, what am I supposed to, what? What am I supposed to do here? I really, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Um, do I have to make it in another world? And by the way, why did my items carry over? I feel like that's not how that should work. How about this? I'm just going to turn that back to island uh, like I thought I should. And yeah, we'll go with the hell theme. Let's just go back in. Let's see. Okay, hopefully this works. Maybe hell only works on the island type. Okay. I don't know why it takes so long to load. It's kind of weird. These are small, finite worlds. Practically speaking, all worlds are finite, but you know. I don't know why I'm throwing that out. I'm probably going to need that. Okay, so this is how it works. I see. They kill all the grass. Well, not all of it. Not all of it. Not all of it. But they kill pretty much all the grass. Replace all the saplings and whatnot with... Uh, what even... What even is that? I forgot what they're called. And they replace all the water with lava. What's this? Is this a thing I can actually get? Ah, magma. Very cool. Okay. Interesting. Can you only get magma in hell, I wonder? Because that would be kind of fun. Can I place it and actually... Yeah, cool. Well, I don't know how this mushroom is growing on this magma. I don't know how it's doing that. That's amazing. And again, I really don't know why my inventory is carrying over. I'm not really going to complain. I'm not really going to complain about that. But yeah, I do like this theme. This is fun. Obviously, it doesn't look much like the nether, aside from the lava. That's pretty much it. That is where the similarities end. And, you know, everything being dead. Everything being dead. Hmm. This is a different world, isn't it? What's in this? What is the structure here? What is that? Brimstone? Is there any actual point in this, or is this just a aesthetic little world feature? It's probably that. Yeah, brimstone. Okay. Okay, nothing new in there. That is cool, though. They added these... <laughs> it's kind of vaguely reminiscent of the Dead Space markers. Let's see. Ah, uh, give me that shovel. 
cool. So we do have some little patches that are alive, which is interesting. But yeah, yeah. It's uh, for the most part just kind of a reskin, it seems. Well, it is cool. It is cool. I do feel a little bit hopeless. It almost... <laughs> I almost have the same feeling I had when I was playing Castle Miner Z long ago. It, it has this Castle Miner Z feeling to it for some reason. What is this orange stuff? But as I walked around in Castle Miner Z, it always felt really, like, strange. Like I just wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> What's this? Red sand. Okay. Added a new kind of sand into here. That is cool. Yeah, I can't say this is the kind of world I would really want to, you know, set up camp in. This isn't the kind of world I would start a series on, I don't think. It's... Is there anything down here? Kind of lava, ravine type thing? Well, it is cool. It is cool, but I'm running out of things to say about it. So, <laughs> might just have to move on. Might just have to move on. I wonder... Is there, like, one little secret? Is there some secret that I could be missing? Hmm. I don't know how these trees are managing to, uh, exist. It's pretty incredible. I kind of want to get over there. I feel like <laughs> it's like an island they don't want me on. Well, yeah. This is hell. This is hell. So... I think that's uh, about all there is to say about that. He said, this hell is like, Luke Boy said, this hell is like the old in InDev. The way it was before the Nether. Okay, so is this is this actually pretty much just the original InDev hell? Because if so, it's actually a little bit surprising. Oh, we got, a, we got company, finally. Finally got company. It's a little surprising because it really doesn't look anything like the nether aside from, you know, giant lava pools everywhere. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. I have I have lots of food. Lots of food. I don't give a shit. You're lucky. You're lucky I spent that TNT on a stupid pig. You're real lucky. Oh, that would have made my day. All right. Well, this is this is hell. This is hell. I kind of want to play in dev after this just to see how different things really are, but that was hell. A nice world, according to the game. I don't know about that one. Okay, well, I guess we'll stick with the island type. Let's go ahead and look at paradise. Try to be a little more descriptive with these world names. Finalizing, finalizing, still finalizing. A few years later, we are still... Okay, now we're doing the lighting. <laughs> My God. So I'm glancing at my phone, and it looks like we hit up to five viewers, which is five more than I actually expected. To be perfectly honest, this is paradise. This is paradise. And obviously, thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you all for being here on our 200 subscriber special that came a little bit late. Yeah, I'm basically noticing two things. Um, the regular flowers are absolutely fucking everywhere. And they also have these giants. Ooh, it feels like Lunacraft. It feels like Lunacraft, I'm not going to lie, these, these structures here. These giant flower structures. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I guess it just makes the world a lot more uh, vibrant. A lot more vibrant. It's kind of annoying, because I'm like, really? Really with all these flowers? Like, how do you get anything done? I wonder what this is. Is this, uh... Hmm. Well, it doesn't drop anything, so it's hard to say. What about this guy? Can I not take this? Why can I not take that? 
Please explain why. Okay, well, I suspect we've seen everything there is to see about Paradise. Uh, that seems to be it. More flowers everywhere, and we got some actual big flower structures, which is cool. I wonder, it'd be funny if they hid some, like, items in a chest in some of these. It'd be perfect, but low chance of that being the case. I'm just going to build on this melon. Okay. I mean, can maybe... <laughs> Maybe just camp out one of these if you really need to. Just for the night. Yeah, well, cool. This is paradise. It uh, it does look nice. It does look nice. Um, I probably would not play it myself because <laughs> there's just stuff everywhere. Um, but then again, it, it is nice. You know, just clear out a little area and then everywhere else it's just super vibrant. Yeah, this is cool, but... I wonder if they add new, like, mobs in the different types of worlds. Probably not. Maybe maybe in the different types of worlds, but probably not in the different themes. That would be my guess. So, paradise, everyone. Paradise. I just want to look around one last time for any cool structure. Anyway, so that was paradise. Now let's look at the woods. Let's look at the woods. In these here woods. Yeah, the big flowers are amazing. They are pretty cool. They are nice. Planting. Wow, that planting step was big. I think we're about to get a lot of trees here. Still baffled. Still baffled as to why it takes so long. So long for such simple little worlds. Not that I'm critiquing them for being simple. It is what I'm here for. Here we go. Here we go. This feels a little bit more like... And we even got birch. We didn't have birch in the last one. Yeah. Yeah, this feels a lot more like beta. I, I feel like I'm kind of playing beta. Just a little bit. Or maybe alpha. Alpha, really. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. I, I'm not sure why it's so dark. Why does it look like it's about to storm? Maybe it is. Does it say what the season is somewhere? It's summer. It is currently summer. So, hmm. Well, let's get the birch. Let's, let's mine the birch so we can say we did it. Boom, we got birch. I don't know if I really need the iron. Oh, and we do have birch planks cool we do have the different wood types let's just compare them compare them real quick and see how they look yeah kind of a nice contrast they they do actually work pretty well together i can definitely i can definitely see a floor being made out of like an alternating pattern of these that could definitely look good okay well let's get a little bit higher up and see what we're dealing with. Yeah, they basically just added a bunch more trees. Uh, added the birch trees as well. Um, this is cool. I like this. This is definitely a world I would do like a let's play on. Because I can I can imagine a very cool little like forest village. It's like a small, tight little forest village. With, like a stream running through it. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I like this. I like forest. I like forest very much. Thought I saw an actual apple floating. I am running low on food. Good thing it carries over. I don't love that, though. There's got to be a way to avoid that. Sometimes I just kind of want to start from scratch when I make a world, you know? So that, that has to be some weird setting. A weird setting or just a bug. I don't know. Well... I'm looking around. I don't really see anything extra. Um, I don't think there's too much to look into for any of these themes. They basically just make like one or two modifications to the world. And I very much like this one. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. And I like the beaches too. Really like the beaches. I don't know how much they actually modified. Again, I am not familiar with InDev, with actual base InDev, so... 
I can't tell at all what modifications have been made. Um, but this is cool. I really like this. And I, I always like these. I always feel like you could build a nice little, at least like a cool walkway through these little areas. Well, I guess that's about it. I guess that's about it for woods. Uh, I called it forest earlier. It's really woods. And now I have both types of mushrooms. So let me find out real quick. If I, and I do have a workbench. I have two workbenches somehow. That's a miracle. Um, let me see if I can make bowls. I can. Okay, well. Why would they have bowls if you can't make mushroom stew? Right? So we got mushroom stew now. Cool. Take one of those workbenches back. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. All right. think I'm ready to move on to the next one. I think we have like two or three more to go. Something like that. I'm going to look at chat. I want Minecraft to be really deep. I hope we get more updates to extend the world height down. Um, well, in the modern versions, we certainly got that. They uh, they went into the negative. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. The only thing is, people are going to build crazy, crazy, crazy mines. And <laughs> they better add some kind of elevator mechanism into the game. Otherwise, you're literally just going to spend an hour climbing a water pillar or something. Or using like a series of TNT cannons to propel yourself up yeah well this has been woods i like it i would definitely i would definitely play this on my own because this is a really nice feeling uh, let me get down i've been up on the trees the whole time but this is really the woods experience ah oh, so cool and i like all the mushrooms i like i like the ample amount of mushrooms everywhere um that that always just makes the world feel cooler to me i like mushrooms i you know, I might have picked up a bit of a reputation for picking up mushrooms across the <laughs> across the episodes, but yeah. Woods. Very cool. I like that one. Okay. What's next? Shroomland. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely want to see Shroomland. And if they didn't add the mushrooms back in, I am gonna be radically disappointed because come on. Come on, that's what Shroomland is. Weird mycelium and shroom cows. Once again, generating for days. Generating for days and days. My God. All right think we know what we're gonna see i like the purple sky that is that is cool that is nice and this is the original mycelium with the particles and everything i like that i like that a lot what's funny about my inventory transferring over is i could make an infinite amount of mushroom stew in any world i wanted by just creating one of these worlds yeah these do drop okay cool yep works the same way it basically always has i like it I like it. Can't pick them up. Can't pick them up as as usual. But I really like that. And I'm I'm I don't even have to guess really. I know the mushroom stew is not going to stack. No chance. No chance. I can actually make some stew. Let's see. Nope. No sir. No sir. We do not get any stack on that. Well, I'm throwing this useless ass bone meal out. You can just go away forever. Yeah. Yeah, the purple sky is a nice touch. It really complements the scenery. Uh, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. There's a thing. Can I refill on you? Uh, are you not... Are you not a mushroom cow? Why can't I refill my bowl on you? What about my bucket? Can I get stew in, stew in a bucket? No? Okay. Um... Aren't these guys supposed to be very rare? Isn't this supposed to be a very rare variant 
of the red guy. But I thought they were supposed to give you stew as well, so I don't know. I don't really understand. What about you? Please. Please give me stew. Oh my god, I'm right-clicking him. He's not giving me stew. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to hit you, but... But I don't know what else to do here. Ah, oh, that sucks. So the bone meal doesn't seem to work in InDev. And the mushroom cows don't actually give you stew like they should. I mean, that'd be so easy to add. We already have mushroom stew. <laughs> Just, uh, whatever. Well, yeah, basically what I expected. We're on a mushroom island. We're on a mushroom island. It made the skybox purple. And I like it. I like it. I'm a fan. Obviously, would not do a let's play on this because, um, what the hell am I going to do here? <laughs> What the hell am I going to do here? Make a mushroom house? Um, can you make mushroom blocks, I wonder? Did he add that? Is that like a weird thing he added? So it'd be, it'd be funny. Nope. Nope. And we don't have shears. I tried to make shears, and they don't exist. So, apparently, apparently, oh, hello. If I kill you, will you give me anything? Nope. Well, he gave me his mushrooms, but I don't want the mushrooms. I want the stew. That's 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 why you're cool. I can just walk up to you and refill. You're a walking mushroom stew shop where everything is free. And there's one item on the menu. That's all I want. That's all I need. That's all I'm asking for. Why can't I have it? Oh, man. I'm just going to go in my starter house. I'm just going to go in my starter house. Well, <laughs> again... Quickly, I think we have we have hit the end of what there is to see here. Um, we're on a mushroom island. Yeah, this is a cool one. Definitely a cool one, just not a whole lot to look at or do. It's just it's just kind of fun to jump in and look around. And I guess, you, again, like I said, you could always jump over and get tons and tons and tons of mushrooms and then jump back to your other world and use them. So that is cool. All right, this has been... Shroom land. Shroomy shroom land. The land of the Amanita Muscaria. Yes, sir. Bro, what a mesa. Uh yeah, it really <laughs> it really does. It really it really does. I agree. The black mold mesa. Pretty much. Yeah, that is pretty much what this is. That is pretty much what this is. All right. Well, I hate that the cows are useless. That sucks. But the world is cool. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on to... Normal. We're at the end of the themes. We're at the end of the themes. Let me... Uh, I guess we'll go with the normal theme, and we'll look at the various world types. Um, original, debug, none. Yeah, I'm going to go on a floating a floating one with a debug house. I want to see the debug house. Floating with debug house. I don't know why I'm naming these. It it really makes absolutely no difference in the world. It just feels right. It just feels right to be descriptive. God damn it, I just refreshed. I just refreshed my stream. Now I gotta wait. There's chat. Okay, so Plex said that items are saved to the player, not the world. That's interesting. That is interesting. So I'd actually have to <laughs> go on like a different account or something. Or a different instance or whatever. Well, it's a little, little strange. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is okay then. Yeah, this is really something. I mean, it goes without saying, but this is very uh, Aether-like, isn't it? <laughs> this is very Aether-like. I'm not sure what about this is a debug house. It's just a uh, mossy cobble starter house. I don't know uh, what the real difference is, but okay. I thought it would spawn with like a chest with crazy shit in it. That's That's why I wanted to see. But here we are. Wow, this is this is really neat. I would absolutely do a let's play on this. And we even have clouds over here. Very Aether-like. Yeah. 
Wow, what kind of ores get exposed? What kind of ores can you get? Like, what Y level are we at? Uh, 24. Okay, we're kind of, we're down low. I imagine, well, <laughs> yeah, we're probably, da we're probably down low compared to a normal world. But the world height is never really that tall in InDev Plus. Uh, I could use, there's my shovel, which hasn't broken somehow. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's just hop around on the clouds a little bit. Hop around on the clouds and see what's up. Oh, man. I, I still can't get over how fast you are when you're crouching. In fact, I don't think you slow down at all. Okay, good. And it works just like in the Aether. Uh, I wonder I wonder if this was inspired by the Aether. I wonder, I wonder if this was based on the Aether. Or maybe this was in original InDev, and the Aether was actually based on this. I don't know. I don't know the order of things, but this is cool. Are they called air clouds by chance? What are these guys called? Cloud block. Nope, just a cloud block. Well, I'll take some cloud blocks. Why not? It's precarious. These are not thick clouds, so we got to be careful. God, these giant particles keep fooling me. I keep thinking that's the block I can pick up. Okay, I'm really slow on this. This is... Oh, come on. There we go. My God. Almost slipped. Almost slipped just then. Just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Cool. Well, we have... We have a cloud block now. Nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and get up there, I guess. Probably, actually, I have 53 cobble. Hmm. It's not, they're pretty widely separated. There's not a great place to just get straight up to any of these. But I do want to get up top and see how everything looks. Well, let's go to the edge here. Ah. Uh, yep, have to do this manually. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. I wonder, did they add any new mobs? Any new mobs? No, no, like, new flying mobs or anything. Nothing quite that crazy. Nothing quite that crazy. Yeah, yep. Pretty big distance up. Pretty big distance up. But this would definitely be a cool world to do a little series on. And I don't even know. I, I wasn't, I didn't pay any attention to the main menu. I don't even know if we have multiplayer support in this. If we did, that would be really cool. That'd be really nice. It'd be fun to do some kind of like co-op series on this type of world and just, you know, build a massive interconnected, you know, it'd be easy actually to just fill the entire world out and just have everything connect. That'd be so cool. Um, well, I am resorting to brimstone. That's all I have. There we go. There we go. Normal mobs, completely and utterly normal mobs everywhere. Cool. Cool. Probably nothing else, though. Probably nothing else. Man, this is nice. And you know what? You know what we have in this version? You know what we have? NDEF Plus has isometric screenshots. That's right. That's right, we can take an isometric screenshot with F7. So this is a great world to do that for, I think. So, boom. There we go. There we go. Yep. Takes a while to do that. Big screenshot. I will show that now. Um, very cool. I hope it's a good one. I hope it turned out okay. Obviously, I can't check right now. <laughs> um... Let's see. Well, just trying to see if there's anything extra. I don't think so. But yeah, this is really nice. I really like the way they did it. I really like the way they did it. It looks like it looks like someone like a giant just stuck his hand in the earth and just like ripped it out. 
just just completely ripped it out and placed it up in the sky. Very cool. And we got these nice big caves that are kind of exposed like that. That is fun. And I wonder what happens if you fall down. You probably just die. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to risk it. I don't really want to risk it. I don't know if it's worth it. Probably not entertaining enough to be worth it. Hmm. Weird little patch of dirt over there. All right, I think uh, once again, we have hit the end of what there is to explore in this world type. Very cool though. Yeah, easily one of my favorites. And I'm pretty sure, I'm, I, I think I remember this being an in-dev. And I think it more or less looked like this. I don't know if there were multiple levels to it. Might have just been one level, but yeah. Yeah, floating world is cool. Very cool. Okay, so Plex says that the Aether was based on this, um, but the Cloud Block didn't exist at the time. Just the floating islands. In Indev, that is. But, yeah, so probably, he probably took uh, the clouds from the Aether and mixed it with the floating islands from Indev. That could have been really bad, actually, because there's nothing to save me down there. And even if there was, I would die from fall damage. Okay. Well, very nice. Very nice and very cool. Let's go ahead and see what else we have. Uh, I don't know where that world went. Oh, am I only allowed to have five worlds? Is that how that works? That's probably how that works. Well, yeah, <laughs> flat. Yeah, let's go ahead and look at flat. I won't even give it a name because apparently there's no point. I seem to be limited to my five little worlds I have so far. Oh, man. This has taken a lot out of me, this streaming thing. Again, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am used to just not saying anything for boring moments like this, where there's just nothing happening and nothing to be said. And utter shock. The flat world is literally just a flat world. There's really nothing more to it than that. Nothing more to it. I imagine <laughs> before they did the world generation in Minecraft, this is basically what it was. Just flat land, planting trees, and whatever few other things there were at the time. Yeah, well, probably just going to leave this one immediately because there is really, really nothing to say about this. <laughs> just a flat world. Flat world. This could be pretty nice if there's like just a lot of stuff you want to build and you want to make sure it's all on the same level. But at some point, you'd have to get bored with it being flat. You'd, you'd eventually want to add artificial like mountains and whatnot. God damn it, I was worried. I was worried that might happen, and I don't have my good resources. I have gold. <laughs> I have gold. I have gold. Okay, well... I'll take that. And one thing I am kind of curious about is whether I can craft gold and apples maybe with the gold blocks instead. Um, I tried it with the gold ingots. Didn't work. So I wonder, is it? Nope. I thought they might do it like in uh, modern Minecraft where if you do a flat world, unless you specify otherwise, it's super thin. But um, nope, we are at 66. We are at 66. So I guess there are no villages or anything. The maker of InDev Plus did not decide to add villages in. Um, I like villages, personally. I remember when I first ever found a village in the game, way back when I first started playing, and I was like, oh my god. There's an actual structure here that I did not build. It was kind of like finding the nether for the first time. It's like, whoa, there's more to this. There's a lot more to this game than I thought. So it seems, yeah, as I move out more and more, we see fewer and fewer trees. 
as we approach the uh, border of the world. I wonder, can I see the border? Is it that, is it that color line? It probably is. Let's go all the way out, see what happens when we hit it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I've just hit a biome. Oh. Oh, interesting. The way they did this, this is cool. Yeah, so uh, I'm just slowing down. Oh, am I? Oh, is this the wall right here? No. No, I can keep walking forward, but when I jump, it throws me back. It's like, no, you're not supposed to be out here. I will go, though. I will escape this world. I'm going to do it. Ugh. I can't even mine out here. Damn it. Come on. My speed is just asymptotically approaching zero. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just approaching the world limit. Okay, I'm done with this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I am fast. Holy shit, look at this. Wow. Yeah, it really works like a spring. That's an interesting way to do a world border. I don't know if I've actually seen that before in any game. You just slow down. <laughs> you just slow down until you can't make progress. All right, well, that is the flat world. Cool. Go to the main menu to see if I can make another character. Oh! I see what you're talking about, Plex. I see what you're talking about. Okay. Sepulus. Sepulus V2. Cheats off. Oh, this is where I set all of this. Interesting. And... Okay, so it did save that world, so... No, we can't have six. Okay. Well, I guess I'll create a new one. And we're going to go with the desert. Let's see what the desert looks like. I will... I will name it that. And I'm not going to have any of my items, unfortunately. Real shame. Real shame. But I don't think I'll need them a whole lot. Because I'm just walking around and exploring. Seeing what there is to see. Boring generating. You and me, once again, with a loading screen. All right. Got to figure out. Okay, I see what that is now. I, I know I know what it is. I know exactly. Okay. Wow. There's just an infinite amount of this shit. Look at this. Fucking crazy. Okay, so don't do that. Um, How does that... Because I kept mining it, and it just kept coming back. I don't really... Okay, so definitely uh, avoid that. Definitely avoid that. Does the cactus look massive compared to other blocks? Probably not. Nope, he fixed that. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing to really fix, because I don't think we had cactuses in Indev. Then again, maybe we did. Got some company. Uh, probably shouldn't have switched, actually. Probably shouldn't have switched, but I am gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch this guy. I'm gonna punch him dead, and we're gonna see what he gives us. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, he's a moron. Take advantage of his moronic nature. Ouch. Yes. This is how we do it. I don't need a sword. I don't need anything for that matter. And he drops exactly one thing. Rotten flesh. Wow, thanks. That is just... That is just something. Well, he did add the jungle. The jungle wood. Oh, oh, the palm. Sorry, it's palm. I I should have known. I should have known. This is palm wood. Let's see what it looks like, the palm planks. Yeah, basically just jungle planks. Okay. <laughs> basically just jungle planks. 
Well, we got lots of animals here. Um, it's cool that they have little, like, patches like this. Little oasis. Very nice. Yeah, well, I hate deserts, personally. They're really not my thing in the game. God, that almost looks like a structure, but it probably isn't. Really don't think so. I would like to see some custom structures in Indev Plus. At least the option to toggle them. I think the maker of Indev Plus is kind of... I don't know if they really take like feedback or anything. I think they're really just making it the way they want the game to be. But I, I would like to see some custom structures. You know, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, just something interesting to come across. With some good items in it and whatnot. Well, I don't know why there's bedrock exposed over here. I think that's probably more of a bug than a feature. At least I'm 99% sure that's bedrock. What else could that be? What else could that be? Yeah. Well, I don't know why that is that way. Let me dig down over here. Okay, so they're only doing that over by the border. That's okay. Because otherwise it would be a little weird. Why, why would I want bedrock under my desert? Well, like I was saying, I uh, don't like deserts. They're just really kind of boring. Really boring. Not my thing. Um, but this is about as cool as a desert map could be, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. You know, a temple here or there would be cool but whatever again i do like these patches of grass and water and palm tree and all that but this is the desert type think i'm just gonna move on think i'm just gonna move on to actually let me switch back let me switch back to sepulus v2 is just not equipped okay so we have caves up next not sure how many more we actually have. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What kind of caves? Caves and cliffs level? Crazy caves? Or something else, maybe? Let us see. The moon one was cool, but I like space. Yeah, I want to return to the moon one, actually. I do want to look at that again. Well, <laughs> I'll have to figure out how to, like, not die. That'll be one important thing. Melting and watering. Why are we doing that? What exactly does that mean? It's doing a lot of extra stuff on this one. Well, how long have we been going? We've been going about two hours now. Probably a little over two hours. I really hope the video quality is good. No one said anything about it, but when I looked at a preview on my phone, it looked a little iffy. It looked a little iffy, so I hope, <laughs> I, hope I didn't screw up. There's a very good chance I did. There we go. Now we're, now we're getting to the normal generation type stuff. Plex said to try doors. I will try that. Um, I don't think it's water that I'm actually in. But you could be right. It could be a water... Okay, I can't see. Shit, Jesus. It could be a water-type mechanic. I'm lagging like a motherfucker. What is, what is the deal with this? Why am I getting 40 FPS? Why am I getting 40 FPS in this cave? Why is this happening? Oh, God. Well, we do have that. Oh my god, why is this so laggy? This is stupid. Stupid. Does this glow shroom really... Yeah, that actually... It's reasonably effective. What is this, dripstone? Stalactite. 
Ooh. You can hear the, uh, the somethings. Man, I am lagging. Why am I lagging so bad? I have a good computer. This should not be happening. It, it's, it's not an absolute tank, but this should not be happening on this computer. <laughs> this is ridiculous. My God. Yeah, I don't, uh, you know, lag aside, I'm not sure I could really play this one a whole lot. I'm not sure, just the constant, I guess that's the stalactites, I guess that's like wind currents hitting them or something, I don't know what that's supposed to be, I don't know what that is, but I don't know if I could listen to that 24-7, my god, I haven't really been paying attention, but I don't think we've gotten any like music, I haven't really heard any music play, let's see, do I have, I have my music off, Jesus, oh my god, I'm sorry. I was not. <laughs> I thought I reset everything. There we go. Now we got some music. Nice. Well, <laughs> I'm not really sure what all there is to see down here. I mean, we got the glow shrooms. We got the stalactites. And I guess... Okay. I don't know where that's... Oh, there you are. No, nope, I'm definitely going to kill you once I get around this stupid stalactite. Okay. Yeah, this is... Okay, I'm just... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a fan of this one, guys. This is... <laughs> this is iffy. This is iffy. It's just cave everywhere. I would just feel perpetually lost playing this. I wonder if you can get out of the caves. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to fight through all the lag. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't have any food in my hot bar. Get rid of that. Let's eat some melon. Let's get some stew saved up. What's this? Okay, I'll take the emerald. I will take the emerald, and I will get out of this cave if it kills me. I will get out of this stupid, laggy... Stalactite filled cave. There must be a way out, right? Well, not necessarily. I guess it would almost defeat the purpose. This is way too loud. I think 20 is a little bit more sane for the music. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so hard to get to even try to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to need some cobble. I need cobble. I need cobble if we're going to pull this one off. Lots and lots and lots of cobble. Oh, man. There's probably no exit. Probably no exit. Probably just infinitely many miles of cave. There is something up here. There is, there is a way. There does appear to be a way. There we go. Now this is going... Well, it was going efficient. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, we've ascended. We've ascended. Uh, what's our Y level? We're at 90. Okay, so there's a good chance that there's actually no escape from this. Uh, this probably goes up forever and ever and ever. Well, yeah, these are, these are the caves. I have no idea why they're so laggy. I, I feel like they really shouldn't be. Yeah, not a fan. Ah, well, I'm always a fan of diamond. I mean, I can always make an exception here and there. I'm going to get this before something comes and gets me. Wow, this is a fucking massive vein. How is this real? Look at this. 13 diamonds all in one go. Because I don't think I came down with any, so... Wow. Well, I like I liked the veins. That is one thing I like. And they seem, it seems that we're able to find good resources at any level. So I guess that's another perk of playing on this. But And the lag has died down a little. Or it did for a second there. Yeah, I, I, I can't really handle much more of this, to be honest. Hello, CreeperCraftMC. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. 
Plex says that old Minecraft is just laggy sometimes, so it's possible that this has nothing to do with InDev Plus. Very possible. Okay. I can't handle the caves anymore. They have they have just they've taken it out of me. But they are cool. They are cool. Mountains. Mountains. Yes. Let's see. I wonder if this is going to be like an amplified world, maybe. Maybe like a modern Minecraft amplified world. Something like that. And I wonder if it's going to be just as laggy. I really hope I don't have to like restart or something. That'd be pretty painful. It's not real. It's a dream. You know, I, you must be right. At this point, you must be right. There we go. And, well, I mean, these are mountains. They're just not <laughs> quite as grand as I thought they would be. Not quite as grand. Maybe if I increase the world height, I can make them grand. But they are nice. This actually looks like a kind of early, early alpha world. Yeah, this is probably about as close to like alpha as you can actually get from what I've seen so far. Hmm. Well, if this type was in InDev originally, this is probably the one they were like, okay, this is just going to be the game. This is just going to be the game because this is very much, uh, <laughs> very much Minecraft. Love the gravel beach that runs right into a sand beach. If you can call it a beach, I guess it's not really a beach. Just a pit. Not really any water around. Lots of these little gravel things. Huh. Yeah, well this is I mean if you want if you want like <laughs> something close to early alpha in terms of world generation, this is definitely your world type because, wow. Well, I wonder if there's anything else to really see here. I'm going to go ahead and create another one. Whoa. Got like a tiny bit of lag. I think I'm going to delete some of these. I wonder. Hmm. Seems like it could be screwing things up a little. Don't plan to go back to desert. Yeah, let me bump the height. World too large. What do you mean? Oh, that's okay. All, all, I see. They have a constraint on the overall number of blocks. I do wonder why, though. I mean, there's no technical reason for that. <laughs> Unless they just want this to work on absolutely every computer. But, I mean, you have the options, so I don't really see the problem I miss the neon green grass yeah I do too I do too when I think old Minecraft that's what I think the old grass texture this this right here is exactly what I think of okay well the mountains are seemingly not any bigger which is a shame I thought they might kind of fill up the world height or some percentage of the world height at least but no we just we just have kind of fixed height mountains, which I'm not really complaining about. They they do look good. They do look good. It would just be nice if they could go a little bit higher. Yeah, that bedrock thing is uh <laughs> kinda silly. Kinda just a little bit silly. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what else there is to uh see around here. Not really sure. I'm going to kill this cow just because I can. Can't even pick that up because I have no space and I really just don't care. Okay. Well, that is that. Okay. What's next? Ocean. Ocean. I feel like we are quickly hitting the end. And after that, I think it's probably moon. I'm pretty sure moon will come after that. And I wanted to return to moon anyway. 
and at least try to figure out what I can do there. Generating, generating, generating. I love this part. This is my... Okay, wow. I'm just trapped in this fucking thing. Look at that. Look at that. So, where am I? <laughs> where exactly am I located? Let me check my Y level. 159. Right, I don't know why I'm in stone. This, uh, this isn't ocean. This is very much not ocean. Um... Right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's escape. Wait. Hold on. I'm fucking up, aren't I? There is no escape. No. No, I bet, I bet there is no escape. I bet if I kept swimming, it just, it's just water that just goes infinitely high. Maxwell activated. Find Maxwell. What the fuck is Maxwell? I keep seeing that stupid shit everywhere. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and retry that, maybe. I'm going to retry that. How about no starter house? That could be screwing things up. Yeah, we'll just go with this. Ocean, take two. Let's try that one again. Wow. Wow. Well, I think we know what has to be done here. I need to hurry my ass up and pray that I have enough wood to do this. I don't have enough wood to do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. You know what I can do, though? You know what I can do? I can jump to my first world and get what I need to do this. Um, I'm going to mine in through here because lazy. Ah, the brick. The brick looks more red than I'm used to. Looks a bit more red than I'm used to. Let's go ahead and craft a, a brick block. Ah, shit. Look at that. Yes, that is that is very much in-dev brick. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Okay, I know, I know. We're supposed to be exploring the ocean. I know, but I just, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta make myself an in-dev patio. Where the hell is all of the clay? There was a lot of clay around here. I didn't seriously mine it all, did I? Absolutely all of it? Where is it? No, I don't see anything there. What? I wonder, did they make clay super rare? It's possible I have enough. I will check. Ooh, they might have kept clay kind of rare. I thought I saw, like, multiple big patches of it, so I assumed it would not be rare. But, oh my god, that brick. That brick, it is just so in-dev. It's so in-dev, I can't believe it. Hmm... Because didn't I have, like, a whole stack of clay, at least? I did. I did. Okay. Yep. We are absolutely going to have enough. We are absolutely going to have enough for a patio. Got three. Got another two right here. All right. I think I'll do a little one of these. Oh, that's actually interesting. Look, it gives me the original grass for some reason. Don't know what happened there. Um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to add another chest. I wonder, do we have double chests? We're going to find out. Is double chest a thing? It is. It is. Good. Good. Probably going to throw out a lot of stuff I'm going to end up needing later. Okay. Get our last little brick. And now we have a swick patio. Yeah. There we go. 
And why am I why am I even being lazy? Why am I even being lazy? Let's go ahead and get a little bit more wood. A little bit more wood. I know. I know. It's supposed to be going to the ocean. We will get there. But it is interesting that the golden shovel... Ooh, I wonder. Right, and I'm going to punch it with my fist. That gives me dirt. Is that the point in gold? Because uh, obviously I didn't enchant this. I wonder if the gold shovels just have silk touch, or all the gold tools for that matter. They can have silk touch, have it. Yeah, I can get the original grass. That's cool. That is cool. I like it. Okay. Last little thing I want to do, as far as uh, this goes, is make some stairs. Let's see. Can we place them upside down? Ah, we can. We can. It just... Let me try it like this. Nope, it just takes a little bit of work. Just a little bit of work. Boom, boom, and boom. Yeah, it's it's you know, it's okay. It works. It's a little it's a little something extra, I guess. There we go. Yeah, this is our this is our house. Apparently. Is there anything here I might like to have? I wonder. I don't want to lose a bunch of good stuff. So I'm going to put some of that in there. Um, well, what I need is this door. I need the door. Let's head back over to Ocean. Take two. And oh my god, are you fucking kidding? I can't place the door. I am not allowed to place the door. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at me, I'm red over there. Unbelievable. I cannot fucking believe what just happened. Okay, so how... <laughs> how exactly do you go about the ocean? Because now that I wasn't buried in that house... Uh, we can we can see that there is an ocean. We see the thumbnail there. There is uh, definitely ocean stuff. I see some kelp. But how am I supposed to walk around? I need like respiration or something. Um, hmm. Yeah. Well, the door didn't work. That's a shame. Um, we might we might just have to leave the ocean a mystery. I, I could quickly look up what to do. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up, guys. I'm going on the internet. Indev plus ocean. Or just Indev ocean. I don't even know. If I don't see any quick results, nope. No quick results. No quick results, so we're just going to move on to moon. Let's check the moon out again. Um, actually, you know what? Before we do that, before we do that, Whoa, getting some lag in the uh, in the main menu. Yeah, let's go back in here and heal up a little. I should probably bring a bunch of extra food with me just just so if I end up in that situation again, I don't have to panic. There we go. Let's get our health up, and surely my crops have grown. Nope, nope, they surely have not grown. I'm sorry, but did I not? Uh, it just sounds really loud. I have to turn it down to like 10%. Hmm. Okay. Well, take a little bit more food. I should probably cook. I should probably cook the pork chop. That'd probably be a good idea. I ate the other one like an idiot. And I have mushroom stew as well. So, and I do have brown mushrooms. Great. Yeah, let's get a little extra food so we at least have time to think. Okay, give me that. And guess I'll throw the clay back in. Uh, don't really want to use all of that. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Now we got food. 
now we're in a better position. We are in a much better position. Even take one more. Okay. Now we're going to go to the moon. And we're going to see if we can make that work. It's probably going to be... Uh, uh, let's see. What mean? What am I... What? Moon. Take two. Yeah. I think I'll go with the original house, even. And we'll see. Maybe I can just encase myself. And maybe I can get oxygen that way. Let us see. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, do this quick. Nope. 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 I wonder... The gold armor, the gold tools in general seem to have these, like, magical powers bestowed on them. I wonder if... Where is it? The gold helmet can help. Respiration. Yes. Respiration. Okay. That's cool and all, but what am I actually supposed to do <laughs> once I have that? Because that's not going to let me breathe forever. Right, so... How does this work? I'm going to have to plant a tree, aren't I? But how does that work? Bone meal doesn't work. How am I going to grow the tree? Like, I'll have to go in with respiration. I'll have to bring some dirt. Where's my dirt? And some saplings. And we're just going to have to try to make this work. Um, yeah, let's... Actually, I'm, I'm curious... What is this gimme? Feather falling, surely? Nope. Um, let's see. Does this have anything interesting? No. What about this? Nope. Nope. No, sir. We do have respiration, though. We have respiration, so let's jump back in and... Well, yeah, what the hell am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> Okay, fuck. Does this help? Does this help at all? Does this literally help at all? Oh my god. It doesn't. So, yeah, I'm a little confused here. What, what am I supposed to do? Right, what am I supposed to do? Those are not producing oxygen, those saplings. I don't even know how they exist when there is no oxygen already around. How do I transport oxygen into this world? <laughs> is there an oxygen tank? Uh... Is YouTube Studio buggy for me? It's a little bit buggy. It, it, it is a little bit iffy for me. Sometimes it just kind of randomly refreshes, and I feel like there's a bit of a delay. Well, that is uh, really, really unfortunate. What I can do is go ahead and switch over to Sepulus V3 on Creative, right? And then I can make a new moon world, and hopefully we can actually explore. And I'll do the same on Ocean. That way we can see everything And final. I'm calling this the final because this is going to work. Because we are in Creative. We are not going to die. Last resort. But surely there's a way to play this. Here we go. Oh, yeah, you have to hit C to fly. It's an interesting little thing. But, yeah, here we are. This is the moon. Let me fall back down. Reduced gravity. Big. Ah, they brought this fucker back. They brought this fucker back. Who was this? God, he had a name. Black Steve. Was that his name? They called him Black Steve and he's not even black. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Or was that Black Steve? One of these guys, I'm pretty sure, was called Black Steve. And this was a real thing you could actually find in InDev. These were not added by the InDev Plus creator. <laughs> yeah, and then this fucker with the, like... Oh, man, it's just so weird. I'm gonna punch this one and see if I can get the stupid hat. God damn it. Da. 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 God damn it. How much health do you have? Why are you tanky like this? Why am I even wasting my time? 
emerald. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so it is a quiver. Adminium quiver. Haha. <laughs> Interesting. So what all do we have here? A debug stick, a builder's bracelet, magic mirror, climbing gloves, spectacles, skyrunner boots, adminium shield. Lucky coin, necklace of the sea. Okay, so that's what that pendant thing is for. Moon watch. Yeah, we got interesting things here. Who? Moon bricks. We can make moon bricks? I kind of want to turn my brightness up. It feels low. But there's no uh <laughs> there's no brightness slider, so Okay, I'm just going to kill you because you're kind of crazy. Let's see. Well, there are the moon bricks. What other kind of cool things do we have? Adminium ore. They added a new ore. Let me see. Let me, uh, what the hell? Regulator, generator, detector. What the hell is this? I just want torches. Um, oh, you can make low shroom stew and that gives you night vision. Wow. Okay. So there is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot to this. There is a lot to Indev Plus. Jellyfish Tentacle. That's probably from, like, the ocean one, right? And what's the deal with all these? Fire Imp. Moo Bloom. What is that? Fire Imp? Who? <laughs> what? I feel like this guy should have spawned in hell or something. Why didn't he? Wow, that's interesting. And he gave me ashes. I don't know the point in that. Okay. Whoops. Nope, creative inventory. Where are the torches? Okay, so I'm just going to give myself coal and stick. And... Here we go. I'm just going to make myself the torches, I guess. I'm not quite sure why I can't see them in there. Okay, now we can actually <laughs> see what I'm placing down. So here's the adminium ore. Uh, I'm not sure where you can find this, but apparently it's pretty good. Let's take a look here. Yeah. Yeah, we can make a shield out of it. What are these Skyrunner boots? Twice jump height and feather falling and 25... Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. I'm just going to kill this guy. Yeah, these are these are weird. Okay. Throw that out. So what other interesting things? Apple tree, nothing. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have to see all of these. Oh, they got the adminium too. I have to lay all of these blocks out and just see what they look like. They even have a coal block. Even added the coal block and the concrete... The quote-unquote concrete. Coal block looks kind of cool. Yeah, I like the iron. It's nice. Already know I like the gold. The adminium is pretty... That's pretty clean. I can imagine making a little industrial base out of that. That is nice. The emerald looks good, too. That looks good. I like it. Oh, and the diamond. Man. That, like, deep blue. Oh, wow. Okay, well, these are cool. These are cool. I like the textures. Definitely. They even have a lit furnace. Huh. I'm just kind of goofing around at this point, honestly. So what do we have? Like, generator, regulator, pump, vacuum. Okay, the vacuum is kind of the opposite of what I need. <laughs> right? That's the exact opposite of what I need here on the moon. They have this barrel, and they even added the empty bookshelves. Huh. Let's look at the barrel. Can you just put stuff in it? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well. Okay. So, how do you make a book? Ah, there we go. Oh, it's because I'm not in all items. That's why the search isn't working. God, I'm retarded. Oh, I see. Wait. Uh, uh, I, I thought there'd be a little more, like, customization over where the books went. Instead of just kind of an all or nothing. Well, I there kind of is. 
there there is that to some extent, but you can't really control where they are. It just kind of auto fills it out based on the level. Oh well, that is cool. I do like that. Let's see, what is this golden pulley? Man, there there's they really added some mechanics to this, didn't they? They really added. Wow. Interesting. And look at all this coral. I guess we would have seen this on the moon, or uh, on the ocean. Whoa, look at this dust when I jump. I don't know why there isn't any when I land, but whatever. Yeah, we'll have to go back to the ocean and find some of that stuff. I just don't know how well we can see it. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Ah, the debug stick. I want to know what this debug stick does. Okay, it's pretty worthless as a weapon. I don't really see the purpose. I think that just isn't for me. The builder's bracelet. Oh, this guy's mad. He, he's retarded. Go away. Okay. Let's look at these special items. Builder's blit. Oh, two block reach. Hmm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Can I hit people from further away, too? Does that give me a combat advantage? No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I can hit from further away, though. I do like that. That's pretty cool. What else do we have? Magic mirror, free respawn. Oh, really? Huh. Well, we don't need that, do we? Uh, climbing gloves. Uh, excuse me. The fuck you mean climbing gloves? Hold on. Can I climb arbitrarily high? Oh. Oh. Let me do this. See? How high can I go? Oh my god, I can just climb anything. You can't really, like, scooch around, I don't think. Oh, you can. As long as you're careful. I'm on the moon, obviously. That is, uh, really cool. I wonder how you get these items. Do you have to craft them or find them somewhere? Yeah, wall climbing, that's pretty sweet. It sucks you can only do one of these at a time, though. Bit of a shame. Spectacles. I like that idea. I like that. I like that. Guys. God, these boots are stupid as fuck looking, but I like this. I, they look like movie glasses. They're kind of... Kind of dumb. Kind of dumb, but I like being able to see everything now. That is uh, pretty underrated. Being able to see... Let's see. Lucky coin gives me fortune. That could actually be pretty nice. Uh, necklace of the sea. Necklace of the sea gives water breathing. Okay, so that I need to figure out how to get necklace of the sea. Then I think I think that's basically the strategy. Steve, Black Steve, Beast Boy, and Reyna. Okay. Okay, that, that makes sense. Where are we? So there's Reyna. There is Reyna. There's Black Steve. I found him. He is actually black. Okay. Die, Black Steve. You weren't the first this time, so you don't have to feel bad. Let's see. Reyna was supposed to have a pet cat with an umbrella hat. Interesting. Huh. Well, I wish these characters had a little bit more personality, but they really just kind of run around. Not really much of a point to them. Huh. It's so weird. It's so it's so not a Minecraft thing, right? <laughs> like, that's always the weirdest thing. This, this is probably the weirdest thing historically about Minecraft, that these were added. Because when you think Minecraft, you just don't think this. You don't think this sort of character running around. Obviously, it's possible with mods. Modding has been around long enough that 
can't really be too surprised by anything, but to think this was an actual canonical part of the game at some point, kind of funny. Kind of funny. Okay, well, I'm glad I, I looked in here. Now we know the Necklace of the Sea exists. Now we know. So if we can somehow obtain that, I don't know how you obtain that. That's the thing. How on earth would I get that? But if I can get that, um, then we can go in the ocean. And that's how you would actually survive in the ocean, I guess. You would have to keep that on all the time. There must be an equivalent for the moon, though, right? Ah, the Hellfire Ring gives you fire immunity. Obviously, we're all wondering about this Moonwatch thing. What is Moonwatch? What is Moon... Ah, there's the Earth. There's the sun, and there is the Earth. That's cool. Let's see. Okay, so I can't really equip this. I don't see the point. Maybe the graphic changes. Maybe the graphic changes and that somehow tells me something. I don't know. Don't see the point in the moon watch, to be honest. Seems a little pointless. They do have spears. Huh. We have a golden spear. Extended reach. And looting. Not that these guys drop anything really worth uh, looting, but... There you go. We do have spears. Uh, I wonder how you make those. Hmm. Well, this is the moon. Um, yeah. Not much else to say here. Not much else to say. It's mostly just one single block, this, like, moon cobblestone. Whatever it is. Let's, uh, let's dig down and see if there's anything. See if there's anything interesting at the core of the moon. Probably not. Plex said the moon watch could be for the moon phases. That Okay. That's what happens. That's what happens when you hit the bottom. Well... No, there's nothing in the core of the moon that's especially interesting, unfortunately. And I get to fly. No, not doing it. Not doing it. I do have some cool glasses, though. So, yeah, let's uh, run back to the ocean. Incompatible with character. Interesting. Um, marshland and inland. Those are our last two. Uh, shit. Let's see. What do we want? Ocean. There we go. Let's go in the ocean and actually see how this works. Okay. Okay. So, I think this is actually what was supposed to happen. That makes sense. I spawn in a weird place. I see. So I was supposed to spawn in one of these uh, these cubes. And everything outside of that is ocean. So let me see how the water mechanics work. Uh, let me get a block. Hold on. Ah, damn it. Give me that. Okay, I was worried it might do something weird and fill everything up. Well, it's kind of hard to see down there, but we can see the coral. Oops. We can see the coral, we can see the algae, and we see the glow squids. Or maybe those are just normal squids. Those are probably just normal squids in all likelihood. This is cool, though, creating a little, like, oh, it'd be so difficult. It'd be so tricky. So tricky to connect these. These little spheres, these bios, <clears throat> these biospheres. Let me. Yeah, I can't see shit. Is there anything that can help? I mean, I'm wearing the night vision, so if anything's gonna help, I would think it's that. Hmm. Nope. 
Nope, we don't really have anything. Okay, so I'm going to... I think I'm moving down. I'm, I'm really not certain. There we go. I can see the outline. I can vaguely see the outline. So this is our coral. We got the coral. And this is the kelp. Give me that. Give me that. Or seaweed. I wonder, can that be eaten? That can probably be eaten. Hello. Oh, you're a little weird. This one was uh, born special. I think I'm going to kill it and see what it drops. Nothing. Oh, wait. Ah, is that a salmon? They added salmon. They added salmon. Don't know where it went. I'm going to kill this guy again and see if it drops anything. Yes. Jellyfish tentacle. There we go. There is the jellyfish tentacle. I don't know what the point is, but we got it. We got it. This looks like sponge. I don't know if we actually have sponge. Do we? Yeah, we have sponge. How does sponge work? Oh. That's helpful. That is helpful. This is quite helpful. Let me quit flying. Yeah. Yeah, the sponge is still magical. Still magical. And this looks really cool. That is really nice looking. <laughs> like, I, I can imagine creating a cool little walkway. Probably. Yeah, do it like that. Yeah. Yeah, this could, this could be a fun little walkway in a world. Okay, well, now we can actually see uh, what the ocean looks like. We got this guy. Got the occasional fish, but the ocean is not incredibly populated. We just have these biospheres. I don't know if there's really any... Okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna fly over to that. Fly over to that. Look at the ground so I know where I am. Um, yeah, well, we know the water is a little, a little strange. Ah, hello, Emerald. All right, let's get up in here. Oh, you know what, you know what they've done? I think what they've done is divide it. Ooh, we should look at all the biospheres, actually. Yeah, there's one right here. So it seems like they have this one for mining. They have the one that we spawned in, which is the one that you're really supposed to spawn in. And that's where you live. Yeah, so I guess this is how you would get your resources. Okay, that's the point in these. We have another one right here. Um, and it's very similar to the one we spawned in. In fact, it actually looks... Oh, nope, this, this is the one we spawned in. This is just the one we spawned in. And I'm going to let the water in. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is going to lag me out. Oh, God, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up close. Oh. Oh, that was not really... That was not really the move. That was not really the move. Weird mods like this always make me think how wacko the creator of the... Oh, I can't read that word. YouTube Studio is being annoying. I can't read the word. Hold on. I'm going to cheat it. I'm going to cheat it. I'm going to cheat it. I'm going to read this comment. I am going to read it one way or another. How wacko the ore spawn mod creator became. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is fair, Plex. And it just refreshed on me. God damn it. Anyway. So, we got that figured out. Now we know what the moon and the ocean are all about. Uh, let's go back to Sepulus, who is not doing super hot. He is not doing hot at the moment. But we only have a couple more left to do. Uh, so the marshland is one, and there shouldn't be anything weird going on here. This should be... I mean, I guess it's going to be a swamp, right? Basically just the biomes from the game. It's pretty much what all this is. Just biomes. All right. Well, good thing I have all this... All this food. All this delicious food. 
Yeah, okay, so they haven't really changed the coloring, which is a bit of a shock. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they, they've basically added vines and, you know, the occasional, like, pools of water you see in the swamps. But, yeah, I'm not seeing a crazy difference here. Not seeing a crazy difference. I do like it. It, it is kind of a nice scene. But this is the kind of thing I'd like to encounter in another world, maybe. Not so much what I want the entire world to be. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not really all that interesting. This might be one of the less interesting ones because it really just adds vines on trees. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not seeing a whole lot outside that. Maybe we get spawns. Like, maybe we get slime spawning on here. And they don't spawn on the other ones. That's probably the end of the list. Vines and more slimes. But I can't imagine there's much more. I do like this. I like that they do have a giant lake with lily pads on it and whatnot. That 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 does work pretty well. It fits the theme nicely, but there just isn't a whole lot to see here. Not a whole lot to see. Kill that guy for no reason. Well, I think I'm ready to move on. I don't really uh, see any reason to stick around. It's just the sugar canes are nice. That is a nice touch. That does work. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. That is about it on that one. I think this is the last one. I think this is the last one. Inland. Inland. Not quite sure what to expect on this one honestly not sure what to expect but it is the last so here we go all right i don't know why i keep doing that i keep doing that um okay so maybe this is closer to uh well i don't know I was going to say, maybe this is closer to uh, early alpha. A little bit closer to early alpha than... Uh, what was the other one? Mountains. Mountains, but... I don't know if it even goes high enough. Yeah, it's kind of between this one and mountains. Those two really look closest to early alpha. The others are a little bit more experimental. Yeah. Well... We're just not surrounded by water. We're surrounded by grass rather than water. That seems to be one big difference. Got another one of these. Little gravel regions. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that is about it. Uh, <laughs> this is inland. Um... Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I don't know. It feels like a weird middle ground between mountains, um, like the normal one, I guess. Kind of, kind of between the, those two, I think. I don't know. I, I just, I don't, I don't really feel anything special here. It feels a little bit redundant. It feels a little redundant. I won't lie. Hmm. Well. I think we've seen just about everything. I will take a look at this little uh, water pool over here. It does look kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool water pool. Got a little indent over here. Let's see. Ooh. You can actually jump. It feels like you can jump reasonably far. Maybe it's not any different. Yeah. Yeah, just a nice little beach area. A little beach cove. This is cool. 
Yeah, I like this generation. Yeah, Inland is cool. It's 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 kind of inoffensive, I guess. And again, we get this bedrock wall every time. It's kind of inoffensive. The, the, nothing really stands out here. Just kind of a standard Minecraft world. Well, I suppose that ties everything up. Well, not everything. There's obviously still a lot to this mod that I need to learn about. At least in terms of the items. There are some very important items you can get for surviving the different worlds. And they added the spear and they added those like generators and whatnot. I have no idea what that's about. So I might return to this in the future and do another stream. And we'll just explore InDev a little more. Maybe return to our first world. I think I'll actually do that now. Because I think I'm about ready to wrap the stream up, to be honest. We have seen... Just about everything. Exploration. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, just, I, uh, I griefed my house. I griefed my house out of laziness. Yeah, I like this, this a little bit better. Honestly. Just more flat ground to build on. Feels a bit nicer. And I, I kind of like the island theme. I think this might be my favorite. The island. I really like the island. It's between island and mountain. Um, also floating. Floating is obviously very cool. The others are, like, fun to look at. They're fun to jump in there and just look around. It's a cool little environment, but not really the kind of thing I would do a long-term, uh, survival world on. If you know what I mean. I don't know why I'm taking this wool. I don't know why I'm taking anything. I don't really need anything. I'm actually pretty stacked, given that I've only been playing for, like... Well, I got all this stuff pretty much in the first, like, hour, so... Uh, you can definitely get stacked a lot quicker in this one. And that just means... Well, you really gotta build. You're just not left with much else. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot of features. We don't... As far as I know, we don't have the nether, but actually... I'm really wondering. I'm really wondering. Um... Hmm... I have to try. Whoops. Cancel. Switch over to Sepulus. I believe that's the one that's in the creative world. And yeah, we'll go on the moon. And I want to try to create a nether portal. I strongly... Where? Yeah. I'm going the right way. I strongly suspect this is not a thing. Strongly suspect. I keep double tapping space. It's not how it works. You have to hit C. We do have Obsidian, though. So I'm thinking there's a remote possibility, right? There's a remote possibility. Okay. Got that. Where are my tools? Hellfire lighter. What's the difference? Ah. Gives you a blue flame. Cool. Yeah, so I don't think it failed because I used that one in particular. I think... We, uh, we just don't have it. We just don't have the nether. So, given that we don't have the nether or the end or any of that, um, and that it's so easy to get resources, seemingly at least, um, it seems like the main focus for InDev is really just building. That's, that's the main thing you're left to do. That's the main way you can really spend your time. Uh, which is not a bad thing at all. You know, if you're in the mood for that, and that's the kind of series, let's say, you want to do, um, that could be very cool. It's more or less what I'm going for on my uh, beta survival LP, although I do want to focus a bit more on survival as well. But yeah, I guess we can finish this up on the moon. It's, it's, it's a fun little place to finish it up. We got these weird characters running around for some reason. They drop roses, or that one does at least. Reyna drops a rose when you kill her and it makes you feel bad. So I guess we'll leave them alone. So this has been InDev Plus, or at least, you know, a small, small look at it, a small look at a sliver of it. I mostly just wanted to go through the worlds and kind of see what sort of worlds we have to offer and see what kind of survival features we have. What can we do? How does the armor work? All that basic stuff. Um, and I like it. I, I, I generally like InDev Plus. It's, it's just missing the occasional thing that I would like. 
Um, I like enchanting. I like brewing. I like the nether. Uh, I, I do like these things. I like uh, villages and temples. Um, you know, that, that might put me at odds with some beta players, but I do like those things in the game. Uh, they're, they're fun to come across at least every now and then, even if they're rare. Get some nice items and just something interesting and new to see. So it, it, it does feel a little bit lacking in Dev Plus. And it's probably going to stay that way for some time. Because like I said earlier, I think the creator is doesn't really take community feedback. Um, I could be misremembering. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else entirely. But I think the creator of this mod doesn't really take community feedback. Um, he's just trying to make this the way he wants it to be. So it's probably going to stay this way for some time. So I'm not sure if InDev Plus is really my thing. I'm, I'm not sure. It's just It's just slightly a little too lacking. But it is cool. I do have to give it props. It is fun to play. Uh, and I do think the creator did a good job of what I think he was going for, which is, you know, in-dev with some nice features and quality of life. I, I think he nailed it. I think he nailed it. I do, I do like it. I really like it. There is Earth. There is Earth, and the sun is on the other side. Let's just look at chat one more time. Nothing really new. Well, we generally kept about four viewers, which, uh, again, is, is four more than I really expected. I didn't really expect anyone to tune in, and I was actually kind of surprised I could even get the stream set up because OBS was uh, kind of kicking me in the ass for two hours straight right before I started recording here. It was just not working. Not working. Bad quality. Settings incompatible. Blah, blah, blah. But it looks like everything worked out. We got to look at InDev Plus. For our 200 subscriber special, sort of. It's, it's kind of a half tongue-in-cheek 200 subscriber special. Just because I didn't do anything for 100. So I wanted to do something. And I have been slacking on the content. So figured I'd put a little stream out there exploring this fun little mod. And it's also a little bit of an inside joke uh, between myself and I. Because on a previous YouTube channel I had... Or I've actually had multiple previous YouTube channels, and for some reason, I always had a habit of making a 200 subscriber special video. I just, I always did it, and I don't know why. I don't know what's special about 200 versus 100 or 500, but <laughs> yeah, that's why we're, that, that's more or less why we're here. I'm going to kill Beast Boy. I don't think I've killed Beast Boy. I think I've killed the others. <laughs> Got to equalize. Okay, so hope you guys have enjoyed this stream. Um... Hope it turned out okay. Hope I managed it reasonably well. It's been a very, very long time since I've streamed, especially with this setup. So I'm not quite used to having to constantly commentate and not be able to edit stuff out. But this was fun. I had fun. I'm really glad some people were able to show up and tune in at least for a little bit. And hopefully, if you haven't heard of InDev Plus, now you have an idea of what you can do in here and whether you might want to dive into it and really start playing seriously. Um, personally, I don't think I will. It's, it's not exactly my thing, just for a few small key reasons, but overall, I really like it. So I think that's about it. I think I'm going to wrap things up now. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. This has been fun. Uh, InDev Plus gets a thumbs up from me. It gets a thumbs up even though uh, I probably would not play it a whole lot myself. Uh, it is fun. I think I think the creator did a good job of not going too overboard with the modern features and kind of importing all the baggage that comes with that. And it's just a nice, clean version of InDev that um, if I'm ever bored, I, I, I'll probably jump on and at least play one of the cool maps, at least for a little bit. Well, thank you guys so much. Thanks for the epic stream, Sepulus. You are welcome, Plex. I hope you enjoyed. This was fun to do. And I, I really wanted to get at least one stream on the channel just to kind of see how that goes. See what it's like. But I think I'm basically out of things to say. So thank you everyone who tuned in. Thank you everyone who watches this afterward. I will have a link in the description to InDev Plus if you want to check it out yourself. And I'm going to go ahead and close it off. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you.
in a later video slash stream.